Oh, brother, brother, brother. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Sorry, sorry. I was on the phone with my mother, and and I love her very much. And I wasn't going to say sorry. I have to live stream a few extra minutes. She doing good? She is. Although, unfortunately, she is a school teacher and the school was unable to reach a negotiation for a new contract. So none of the teachers are going to get a raise for the next year, which happens a lot of times when unions are unable to negotiate successfully with the town. Feels bad. Feels bad. Teachers go through it. Holy shit, Stream Elements, chill. Okay, Stream Elements' obsession with getting every single message out is a little obsessive. Tim! Tim, save us! Anyway, what's going on, boys? Welcome back to the stream today. Uh, I decided, if you haven't seen the exclamation point plan, it's something that Stans does. I thought I'd throw in a stream, because a lot of people are more confused on YouTube on what I'm doing today. Because usually I'll title and thumbnail it like one thing I'm doing, but I do like five things. So I thought it'd be nice if I had like an exclamation point plan every day that you guys could look at and, and then know specifically what is happening that day. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the goal with that. Although, don't type exclamation point plan because you'll break it. How did Bros vs. Pros go yesterday? It was not Bros vs. Pros. It was just um, me, Truck, and Sands uh, doing a race. It's like a wiki race. But anyway, we're doing a few things today. We're doing a few things, so... We'll try our best to get it all done. I did see Simply PB. Actually, I wanted to um, DM him. Thank you for reminding me. Good old Simply PB, which I love to see. Any packages come in? I got a wish package, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish package is here. Uh, but anyway, if you didn't see the plan, we are planning on changing. Uh, changing what we were going to do today. So rather than uh, do... What do you, how do you call it? Uh, rather than do... I can't think of the words. Rather than do um, spin the wheel, pay the mods, I'll save that for pay the mods Thursday tomorrow. And today, we have a lot more other shit. So, so you know, I'll, hey, shit, boys. Plan is simple, you know what I mean? We got a few things we're trying to do today. Starting off, I want to do GeoGuessr duels. Boys. If you didn't see yesterday, we did this GeoGuessr duel thing where you go head-to-head -head against someone in GeoGuessr. And I was getting fucking rolled by cheaters, scammers, and snipers. Okay? That's it. And you know how I know that? Because I played offline last night. A silver lobby. in dead ass driving on the left side of the road. Somebody guessed Canada. Dead ass. Okay, European license plates, I saw them in South America, and I was winning free. I'm silver now. I'm silver free. So I, I think I'm a gold player, but playing on streams harder. So I'm going to try to grind a few rounds on stream until I get mad. And then I found a sick website. Uh, it was actually a, a, one of my subreddits. Um, it was like one of those things that's on the subreddit that's like, wouldn't it be cool if we just did this? And the, th the thing is like hard to do. And the, the suggestion was, wouldn't it be cool if we had higher or lower, but with IMDB ratings of movies? And I was like, yeah, it would be cool, but it's a pain in the ass to do, and I have to get someone to make it. Turns out, it's already made. So I'm going to go ahead and play that today. Uh, so we have some more higher lowers, which I'm kind of excited about. Uh, and then the only other thing, what's else on the schedule? Uh, I asked my mods to get a list of the greatest hu uh, human achievements. We're going to take a look at them. And then maybe wrap up with, uh, I want to watch the new Elden Ring speedrun. Somebody beat Elden Ring in an hour, which is crazy. So I think I, I want to try. Okay. 
Bro. Why are they doing my boy Point Crow so dirty on Twitter? What do you... There's better shit to be mad at. I said that Batman wasn't ha-ha funny enough. Why you gotta do my boy Point Crow like this? Dude, Twitter these days is just screenshotting some shit and talking, talking mess. Just screenshotting anything and talking mess. This is an insane video, by the way. It shouldn't be hard to not say Shrek. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but this doesn't seem like a challenge. <laughs> it's more like you just, you just say it, but. Always has been? No. When I was at least in college or high school, Twitter was just about ha ha funnies. It was just a comedy battleground. Yeah, I, I know, Tim, I know. I'm actually cracked and goaded, and everyone's just sniping me. I'm a gold player at GeoGuessr. Cody, thank you for the membership. Appreciate it, gamer. Hard not to Shrek some days, I guess. Yeah, I feel that, feel that. Gonna run Elden Ring back? Fuck, what do you fucking mean run it back? The whole point of beating the game is so that you can just say you've beat it and you're better than everyone. Uh, alright, 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 boys, boys. Uh, I think we're all good. I think we're all G to G. A couple clips I want to take a peek at, though. Namely, this one. I saw this from Toast. Wait, this is spoilers? Never mind. I won't inundate you. I will take a look at this guy, though. You're telling me there's a Squeaks clip? Honey, new Squeaks clip just dropped. Okay, just skip. I don't want to see this again. <laughs> Never seen this guy in my life. He just who mega lulled me. Immediately love this guy. <laughs> Playing Mario. Cracking jokes. Honestly, working on a mature Northern Lion haircut. I did him so Sound? dirty. I did him so dirty for no reason. That's it. Full Metal Alchemist. I'm fucking done. I. You want fucking streamer drama? Farhad made this haircut, okay? You take it up with Farhad. Boys, today, I'm gonna be reacting to Squeaks' haircut. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This guy's fucking beautiful hair, he's gonna make fun of my hair? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm not reacting to that, any more clips. Bazinga. <laughs> How do you bazinga? I want a bazinga. This this might be the one. Uh, here here's a real hot take. I have a friend who, during the soda water fountains at restaurants, he combines sodas. Bazinga! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Ludwig? Wait, but Ludwig? <laughs> you can't have a first time chat. That's bazinga. <laughs> Christ, you scared the fuck out of me. I go out of the gate, bazinga ing. <laughs> oh my god, how's it going, Ludwig? Yeah. What's his PB here? 54 is a decent PB. Yeah, I saw that post or whatever, and now the problem is everyone is gonna come in here and ask, Oh, have you cried? Have you cried during Mario? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's let's get to it, man. Let's get some shit on the road here. Let's let's play some video games. Let's watch some videos, dude. Let's do the whole thing. Is my chat going fucking weird today? Is anyone else just feeling this? Is this a is this an extension thing, dude? My extension. I keep looking at it and it just stops and then it's like, doot, 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 and then it's just like, and then it floods. I've been getting that. It's lagging. Yeah, it's laggy. My game is like, yo, look, 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 look. He disconnected. Look. Unless this is me. Oh, my God. 
It's my nightmare. Oh, wait. Okay, no, it's fixed. Oh, my God. XQC trying to rechat. Pirate 101 is free game. Try it free. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's a YouTube problem. Dude, YouTube, you make too damn much money to be fucking me like this. Bro, everybody already roasting me because you got the fucking worst live streaming platform. It's hard to assuage the nerves when you're choking the bag on me. I'm just saying. Now it's weird. Now, if I don't have chat, I'm just actually talking to myself in a void. Now I'm now I'm cringe. I can't I can't be cringe. No. What's Valkyrie? Is she live? Is it happening to her? She is live. Let's go wartime. What the fuck is wrong with these people? I can't tell if her chat is also doing it or if she... No, it seems fine. How is this just happening to me? Oh, my God. What? What is going on? I wonder if it's a mogul TV thing. I don't know. We haven't had a problem like this before. Hopefully it doesn't happen the whole day. As I say that, it keeps happening. What do you mean? All Ray does is play GTA RP and smoke heroin. <laughs> Both of those things are true and factual and accurate. All right, all right. Uh, there was a new Obi-Wan trailer. I'll take a look at it. The greatest birthday present I ever received in my life was every single Star Wars movie. It, it was a total surprise, and I was watching them on VHS, and my mom saw me, but we only had the originals. And she got me all six at the time. I popped off. But since then, I don't give a fuck about any Star Wars thing because I think it's all lame. But I love, I love you and McGregor. Shut up. The key to hunting Jedi is patience. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. Oh, I love that the world. Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? Star Wars music is so good. It's so good. May 25th. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped for that. <laughs> Dude. Don't fuck off. Okay, all right. Where were the jokes, guys? I just wish it was more haha -ha funny. Can't go a day, bro. Can't go a day. Like, maybe you'd be good if Obi-Wan went bazinga after. Anyway, boys. Is that your knee? Yeah, this is my knee. Two days before something big happens? Do you mean the Queen of England? Isn't it... Did Schlatt post what I think he posted? He posted like a doomsday countdown for the Queen. Right? Did I make that up?
He deleted it? Yeah, probably scared to lose verification. Probably a little bit terrified to lose that sweet, sweet check mark. Dude, I, I'm going to lose my mind if chat's like this all day. Oh, no! All right, hold up. Let me DM someone. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Uh yeah, I think it's fully an extension thing because I have the non extension version open too and it seems pretty fine. Wait, it's also shit on mobile? I wonder if it's YouTube sided. All right, either way, if it's on mobile, then it's not the extension's fault, and we can fully blame YouTube, which is a feels good man clap, feels good man clap. Uh, let's get to it, boys. Let's hop to a little bit of GeoGuessr. Now, if you don't know, uh, GeoGuessr has a 1v1 format, warm-up. I don't need a fucking warm-up. Get me in competitive. Get me in ranked. And, uh, and I am silver right now, but I am actually a gold player. I am literally a gold-level player who is held back by snipers and cheaters in 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 the likes of of googlers. So I'm going to I'm just going to try to grind a few out today uh just to warm us up. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Triple star platinum player. Why do you just give me a triple star platinum out? <sighs> fucking cringy ass triple star platinum fucking ho. Oh. All right, we're in the northern hemisphere. I'm playing a holus head ass. It looks like Nippon Des if I had to guess. Uh, seems a bit countryside if I'm gonna keep it a stack. I assume we're driving on the left then. Uh, so, Nippon Des. Alright. Alright, 100% Nippon Des. I'm gonna guess more country focus. I'm gonna guess it's a little flatter. I'm gonna go near Nagoya. Uh, just a bit north. You know nothing about Japan! Easy start, boys. Easy start. Sun. Firmly in the Southern Hem. We are in the north, uh, which means New Holland. New Holland? Isn't that just... Um, Ho Holland is, uh, is Netherlands, right? Or perhaps we're just in the Netherlands, straight up? It would be weird if it... Why would it be called New Holland, though? Isn't New... New Holland is probably an America thing. Right? Don't we just take everything and just say New X? Uh, I would like any license plate to confirm EU or NA. Because that's probably just a brand name that I'm reading into too much. Okay, here's a little house. I mean, I'm, it looks Netherlandish. This could be the Netherlands. It's flat as shit. I need one car to prove this to me. Could also be Denmark. Norway. 228. Okay, this is not the United States of America. This is definitely Europe. I don't know if I want to go Netherlands. It's very flat. But I, it, it would need a yellow license plate on a car for me to be confirmed. Uh, what is this car? Those look white to me. I'm gonna go Denmark. I think. I think it's not Netherlands. I think it's it's. Uh, I think it's Denmark. It is right out. It's actually South Sweden, but Denmark is closer. So I'll take that. Good guess. Good guess. Good guess. I'm going fucking nuts right now. Dude, I'm such a gold player. I'm actually I'm actually a plat player. I am literally beating a platinum gamer right now. Uh, okay, this looks like the good old maybe US of A. Uh, just kidding. What the fuck is that phone number? Unless that's just maybe an area code. No, New Zealand. Easy enough. Easy enough. Easy enough. New Zealand. Let's go northern side of New Zealand. Hopefully he didn't see the sign and I have him sweating. Hopefully, he doesn't have the sign and I see him sweating. Come on. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? You got Auckland? Dude, you have zero hoes. Okay, that's fine. We're still in the lead. We're still in the lead. Auckland. Why would I have known it's Auckland? Hosh, summer highs. Uh, Okay, sun is... I think we're Northern Hem. It looks like NA based off the speed sign. Uh, hold up. Trash cans usually have city information. Okay. Illegible. Illegible. I hate that for me. It's garbage day. What day is it? Could be a Tuesday. 
Classic garbage day. You know where I grew up? Uh, is it more normal to have a garbage day where you drop... Am I on a fucking golf course? No, get me out of here. How, how am I in a golf course? Why would I need to do this? Why? Okay, all right. Uh, golf course, Northern Hem, Florida. Oh, you're such a bitch. It was the U.S. Virgin Islands. Like, come on. What? It, uh. Oh, yeah, let me move cam. Okay. All right, all right. This is good for me. This is good for me. I'm actually it's actually good that I'm losing because the healing round he can barely heal on because I've barely damaged him. It looks like we are in a 36 area code bell. It's a 36 number. Is EU somewhere? I don't know. Fucking Turkey. Is Turkey in the EU? It was Romania, the northern side. Oh, it was actually it bled into Hungary a bit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're not doing bad. We could beat this guy if I just get one good guess and he chokes once. Okay, Northern Hem. Looking around. I'm just going to stab guess Poland. And maybe maybe I catch him off. You know what I mean? Let's let's play fast. Let's get this guy fucking lo 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 loony. Loony. In, in <laughs> let's, just, let's, just, let's just hit him where he doesn't know what's happening. You know what I mean? It's risky, but it could work. Okay, we had a great guess. He had a, a, a better guess. Fuck. What a sick guess. He's actually sniping. He's sniping. Hertz, main stage. 16, Jewel. 2016. What in the... Fuck is this language? It's like English, but it's but it's not. What? That's not even close to English. I don't know. I never know. It's Russian, I guess. I guess it's Russian. I don't know. I always just guess Russian. Fuck it. Wait. What if I do something crazy? What if I guess the right side of Russia? Sometimes it's the right side of Russia and people guess the left side. And and because the left side is the most natural one. But if I go right side of Russia, oh, dude, this is going to be so fucking genius. This is going to be so fucking genius. I'm going to boom him right here. He's going to look like such an idiot. It was a warm-up. It was a warm-up. Dude, I'm literally matched up against Platinum, Triple Star, No Hose, Head Ass. Like, what do you want from me, okay? Now I'm going up against a bronze player. This is going to be easy. We're in, uh, Netherlands. Straight up. Actually, we're in Luxembourg. You can tell because of the brand of this car. And then the, the yellow of the license plate on the back. That this is Luxembourg. We're in the UK. Why did I do this? It was so obviously the UK. He's a sniper! He's a fucking sniper. Actually weeded out a dirty sniper. Okay, we're in the Southern Hem. Southern Hem driving on the right. Let's find one sign. Are we, are we going English? Are we going South Africa? When I say we, I mean me and the person I'm playing, because you're just a fucking useless-ass sniper. Never had an original thought in your life. Road sign's not giving me much gas yet. Colonel? Coronal? I don't know. Yeah, no wonder he didn't guess first. Sniping head ass.
Oh, what the hell? It was Chile? How the fuck was it Chile? Oh, we were driving on the right. Shit. 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 I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Northern Hem? They probably speak Spanish in South Africa, right? No? Maybe a little bit? Like, occasionally? Dude, what is this? Oh, give me something? These signs are so interesting. So different from any sign I've ever seen. I had a bike path, too. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to go... Austria. I didn't really get the language. Put came on map. I'm not even worried about it. This guy doesn't have the intellect that I do. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. He's going sicko mode. Witness me. What the hell was that sign? Horse, carriage, what is this, fucking Amish land? Alright, I'll go Russia. I'm gonna go real tip of Russia. It was Ukraine! I didn't, I've never gotten Ukraine ever. Wait, how was he? Oh no, he guessed Ukraine. It was Serbia. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I actually know exactly where this is. Fuck, I was trying to find the road. All right, easy, easy, max health, max health. Okay, umlau above the A. AOL. McDonald. I misclicked. I misclicked. I wanted to go into the Nordic countries and I misclicked to Serbia. I dude, I misclicked. Oh my god, I misclicked. I dude, I really wanted to go to the fucking Nordic countries and I miss I dude, it's not my fault. It's the design. Oh my god, I was right there. Oh, he didn't guess in time. Oh, L L L L. I would have won. Thank you very much for the membership. Appreciate that. Uh who was that? That was Josh. Josh. Okay, this guy doesn't react very quickly. He, he's bad under pressure. Northern Hem. Just straight up looking at this house. This is obvious. This is obvious. Norway. Obvious. Obvious. Easy W, boys. Easy W. That's free. That's free. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Tough one. Tough one. Looked like a Norwegian house. Tough one. Tough one. What in the... F this is a Greek monastery? What the hell? What, what do you mean? There's just rock. What? I don't know. It's old rock. Security camera? Area del Tempio. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, nothing but Roma. 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 This is gonna be such a fire guess. What? What do you mean? How? Who's this? Fuck. Okay. 
Trying to move from coffee to black tea. What do you wreck? Uh, I'm, I'm an English breakfast guy through and through. I drink Twinnings English breakfast like every day. What? M-N. Montenegro, perhaps? Mo Moldova? What do you mean, Macedonia? Mongolia, no! Dude, he Googled! That's what you guys don't get. I'm literally dealing with nothing but Googlers and Snipers. Literally everyone who I'm playing is a Googler and a Sniper. Nobody is an honest player. I'm a dude. I'm a gold player. You guys are, you guys are fucking on one. Cute little village. Seems like it could be French, to be honest. Graffiti. Leans me towards France. Could be Italy. Could be Spain. I can't go further up. Oh, I'm stuck. I mean, it's it's mountainous enough that I, I might lean Italy. There are certainly areas like this in France as well, though, so it's tough to make a call. Wait. Is that flag not just Greek? Is that not just a Greek flag? It's like a Greek flag, right? Yeah! Okay, we got there. We got there. Blue flag, Greek flag. Easy, easy. Lettuce, thanks for becoming a member, man. Appreciate it. Here's some more money for the collection. Why, thank you. Easy Spain. Easy Spain. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I don't even have to move around. Thing is, I'm actually more Spanish than I am French, blood-wise. I beat him there. They they have a large Spanish speaking population in Finland. So sometimes pockets of Finland, you might even think you're in Spain. Kind of how it goes. Kind of the way of the road. Lane control signals ahead, driving on the left. It's it's nothing but the fucking border of Ireland into uh Northern Ireland. Border of Ireland into Northern Ireland, like right at the border. Yo, thank you, Griffinator, Ryan Waddle, and Katie for the uh, the members. Jamie, Rips. How the fuck is this in goddamn Brighton? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Focus. Driving on the left, yellow license plates. is 100% Stoke, Stroke, Scotland. We're raised in Scotland. Stays in Scotland. <laughs> I think this is Scotland, boys. Edinburgh? I'll go near Edinburgh. Where are Scots? It's in oh. Edinburgh. What do you mean? Okay, that's fine. We got closer. He went to Glasgow. It's a clear non-Glasgow pick. Okay, we're max HP, so all you have to do is just rip a guess. Obviously, I'm just going to rip one here. We're driving on the left. It's desert. It's South Africa. Or it's Australia. Take a pick. I'm going to go South Africa in my, in my pick because of how flat these telephone poles are. Why don't you just put the plan in the description? What do you want from me? Uh, you know, why don't why don't you just do exclamation point plan? Hey, hey, you know, I'm living my life. 
South Africa was right. We love that. Red soil's Western Australia usually. Well, in this case, it wasn't. But, you know, I'll keep your advice in mind, even though it was wrong. Connor, thank you for the membership. Uh, okay, African, maybe South American, just based off the homes. Um, bright color leads me South American. They really like bright color. Home, perhaps? Sun is, where is sun's in this? What's it blurry for? Sun's in the sky. We're in the northern hem. Okay, definitely South America. It's non-negotiable now. It's, or it could be northern Africa. It's a small village. I like how everybody's staring at this Google car. This Google car would be fucking weird, I guess. If you live in this village and then this Google car comes just driving through. You're like, what the fuck is that? Language? Spanish. Vote bien. Carlos Caballero. Wait, doesn't that mean cowboy? To be the magistrate. Okay. CR, CR, Costa Rica? Maybe? I'll take a stab. I'll take a stab. CR equals Costa Rica. Keep it simple, stupid. Imagine. I'm gonna look like such such a genius. Not bad. It was Colombia, which I could have found if I saw one car. He went Venezuela, which was a terrible guess because there's no Google cars in the country of Venezuela. Fun fact. I mean, I feel like it's the UK already. I think it's not the UK anymore. Uh, the main reasons no one reads the description. In an ideal world, you put information in the description, but that's a fucking meme. Dude, when I was playing Elden Ring, it would be in my title where I was at and people would still come in and ask. So it's just like, you know, people are um, just a bit, I wouldn't even say dumb, just so entitled to information the moment they enter a stream. I didn't click! Chat! Oh my god. Chat, chat, I'm, uh, dude, I'm gonna put it member only. I'm gonna put it member only. You guys are distracting me. You're, you're, you're dude, oh, bro, I, dude, I didn't fucking click. Oh my god, chat, oh, chat. This is actually unfair at this point. I was better than that guy through and through. I was just, I was just better than that guy. I was 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 better than that guy, dude. I can't believe that. 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 I can't believe this happened to me. How can this happen to me? Romania? I thought for sure that was a Jordan. Dude, I'm only losing Elo. Dude, off stream, I, I'm, I'm not even still. You're saying you still bronze? I'm literally in silver. Beep, boop, bop, boop. How the fuck am I supposed to tell apart Russia, Romania, Moldova, is Romania, Serbia? Franky, thank you for becoming a LUD bud. Appreciate it. You cheat off stream? Dude, I am such an honest gamer. It's in Ukraine? I've never seen something in Ukraine ever. That's genuinely the first time it's been in Ukraine. Okay, okay. I need. I just need to focus. Northern Hem, Europe. Big open field, little mountainous, little bit hilly, not too hilly. We're driving on the right side of the road. It's probably... Austria. Not a bad guess, not a bad guess. It was actually Bulgaria. Okay, okay, if we beat this guy, we get a bunch of elo because he's platinum. 
Tropical trees, ocean side, driving on the right side of the road. The language is certainly... What the fuck? Nemo's here? Sydney, Australia? P42? Right side of the road, tropical as fuck, speaking a language I don't understand that looks to be Eastern European. And the license plates are, in fact, not shown. But the car brands are European. I mean, Greece, right? Just Greece, straight up. I imagine this is what Greece is like. It's so beautiful for no reason. Dude, imagine living here. I guess I live in LA, but LA has too many flaws to, like, appreciate the beauty of it. That's crazy. I should have guessed here. It's probably here. You got the... You got the island? We are dealing with a professional today, chat. Japan, Nippon Des, Hilly. A little bit more dark. I'm gonna go northern. I'm gonna go more northern in Nippon Des. Not Tokyo, a little bit more north. A little bit more north. Maybe, maybe Nagano. It was South Korea. I am stupid. Still, he is stupider because he went to fucking Romania. I didn't think they drove on the left in um, Korea. But maybe they were driving on the right and I'm stupid. Italy? Straight up. But where in Italy is the question. Are the buildings old? Why does that not look Italian? Why does that look like feudal? This is definitely Italy. But, but it looks a little too Oceanside. What if it's Malta? This doesn't seem Italian at all, but it's Italy. I think it's, I think it's an island. I'm gonna go Malta. Are you kidding me? It's Albania? So Italy has blue on each side of the license plate, but I guess Albania does too for some reason. Fair enough, Albania. Okay, 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 okay. Sun's in the south. Northern Hem. Fucking old ass rocks. This looks like everyone see that. The, anyone see that documentary about the beekeeper in Europe? W wasn't that a Romanian movie? Anyone see that one? It looks exactly like this. I think though. This is actually a fucking awesome movie about this beekeeper. It's a documentary about this beekeeper who just lived by herself and took care of bees and her mother who was old I don't know man this this seems sign sign read sign read sign sign good sign good no parking English English weird English cringe what's up with English get her gergente stables Maybe Italy? Maybe Italy. I don't think it's Italy. What if they gave me the back-to-back -back Albania? Straight up, zero questions asked. Why is this like a town in ruins? It's like old, 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 old ancient bricks. Um, this is Latin. Dude, you know what they say, man. Rome wasn't built in a day. Although it doesn't look anything like Rome at all, so I went a little further south. Wait, that looks exactly like Florence. I'm not a bronze gamer. How do I lose to a platinum gamer and then get put in bronze, bro? Oh my god. Okay, I can make it back right now. 
I can make it back right now. Where are we? Where are we? Focus up. Focus up. Clutch up, baby. Clutch up, baby. Right side of the road. Certainly European. That word has two Ys in it. That's Polish. This building is cool. It's, it's, this seems, this seems seaside. Anyone else getting that vibe? This seems a bit seaside. Greek again? Holy shit. OSHA approved. <laughs> That's sick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Greek. I'm gonna go Greek. It's very oceanside, it feels. I'm gonna go, uh, Ch Ch Chania Chavia. It was straight up Greece. It was straight up in the middle smack dab. I'm 1,200 off for that? I'm in Greece. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Pink home, Netherlands. They love that shit. They slurp it up. Never mind. Not the Netherlands. Could be Denmark, perhaps. I'm going to go Denmark. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Den D Danish people love playing basketball on wooden backboards. It was Germany. Wait, how are you closer? Uh, what? Oh wait, no, it wasn't Germany. Where the fuck was it? I didn't look. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't read it right. Okay, okay, okay. Sun? No. Wait. Path? It's 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 beautiful. Okay, we're already just gonna go South Asian, and we're gonna go for a. I'm gonna go for like a Malay. Malay. It's actually probably Thai, if I had to guess. If I had to guess again, I'd probably go Thai. It is Thai. It is Thai. But we got way closer, and I made them panic, and they went Kenya. That was good. That was good. That was good panic. That was good panic. I'm imbuing stress into their workflow. We're actually killing it now. Chat is dying. Chat is dying. YouTube. YouTube. Susan. No carts. What the fuck language is that? Nippondes? Nippondes golf course? Golfing in Japan, okay, it can't be anywhere outside of Tokyo or maybe Yokohama. It's fucking literally straight up in Sapporo. Okay, s still, I was closer. I didn't think there was enough humans outside of Tokyo to play golf, but I guess you can play by yourself. Should have thought about that. Uh, Hose Market. <laughs> That's tight. That's tight. I do love a Hose Market. Uh, German, right? Straight up. It's like some little China street in Germany. I mean, if it's it says Parkenstein, like, come on. I'm gonna go Berlin. I'm gonna go Big B. Parkenstein. Are these... What? It was Germany. Unfortunately, they got more points even though I got the country right because it was the left side of Germany. Which is so stupid. This game works dumb. Come on, I need to get out of bronze. I need to get out. Give me one car. I'm not gonna fucking count. Okay, let's just get back to silver. Let's just get back to silver and call it a day. What even are you? Literally triple diamond, 1,000 plus. They just stopped counting. I'm a fucking bronze gamer. They put me up against Michael Jordan for the 1v1. Fuck me. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. European, English everywhere. Houses look super Danish.
fuck. It's too hilly. It's too hilly. Why is there English everywhere? Oh. Oh, it's Slovakia. I would have never known. Oh my god. I'm getting my shit pushed in by a gold platinum gamer. Fuck it, fuck it, YOLO. YOLO. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. It's Colombia, but I got the wrong part of Colombia, which is so stupid. I got Colombia in like 18 seconds. Okay, bear left, driving on the right. You're up flat, fucking random ass lake, bearing left. Seems like Turkey, 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 seems like Turkey. It is Turkey, but I'm... Dude, I'm... Oh, my God. I'm getting every country right. I'm just... I'm a little bit further away. Uh, what do you want from me? I'm doing as good as I can. How am I getting boomed for this? Pueblo Nuevo. Oh. 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 Shit. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, gotta be Mexico, gotta be Mexico, gotta be Mexico. North part, north part. This is so frustrating! Are you serious? Oh my god! I got every country right! Oh my god! I got every country right. Literally every country correct. Why would you pick the top? Because I thought it was closer to the states. That's it. I thought it was closer to the states. And I, I, if you just get, like, what I did for Colombia and what I did for Turkey is, I guess, like, in the center, but that just, oh, fuck. That's right. I only lost one point. I'm not even mad. I was as good as that person, and they were Platinum Gamer. Which means I am 1,000 rated. I'm just unlucky. Like, I'm, I'm literally as good as the Triple Platinum Diamond Gamer. I am just unlucky. Okay, if they're riding on a motorcycle and they don't have a helmet, they're in Thailand. Or maybe it's Vietnam. No, it's Thailand. I was right. Motorcycle, no helmet, Thailand. You can question mark me. It's just factually factual. What the fuck color are these license plates? Driving on the left, weird-ass license plates that are all, like, yellow and red? Israel? JoJo's Bizarre? Driving on the left in red. Mountainous? Southern Hem, maybe? What? What? The language is absolutely bonkers to me. Maybe Sri Lanka. Let's make a YOLO guess. I'm going to YOLO Sri Lanka. Turns out it was Bhutan. Bhutan. Wait, where did you guess? Wait, you're you're cheating! You're cheating! Oh, you dude, he cheated. There's no way you get the exact city. The sign said Bhutan. Did it say the exact city? There was a city. And he found it? I don't believe you. Impossible. Chat, just admit that everyone I'm playing is cheating and I'm a gold gamer. And then we'll move on. You're my platinum geoguesser uwu7. Okay, don't do that to me. Please. <laughs> uh, I don't know where this is. This is so arid. This is so arid and it's northern. Oh. Did 
Dude, dead ass. Okay, it was Guatemala. I had a better guess. I had a better guess. Okay, driving on the right. Sun, north, southern hem. Driving on the right, southern hemisphere. Probably South America, almost always. Big ass truck, huge ass truck. Long ass, fucking dry ass, empty ass. That's Argentina. It was Uruguay? How did you know? He's cheating. You knew it was Uruguay? Okay, I can heal a lot here. I can heal a lot here. I can heal a lot here. I can heal a lot. I lose this one. Dude, I'm so much better. I'm so much better. I'm so much better! Okay, 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 okay. Gangfelt. What the heck? We're driving on the right in Gangfelt with the lads. Seems European as fuck. We're going 50 kilometers. I don't know, man. Sweden? Do they do the slash through? The slash through doesn't seem very Swedish. Is that kid white with blonde hair and blue eyes? Maybe it's Swedish. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Dude, it's too brightly colored to be Sweden. Swedish people hate anything that's like bright or loving or caring. So I'm going to go Norway. Fuck, it was Northern Norway. I'm allowed to say that, by the way, I'm Swedish. Okay, this is 100% Europe because they have an Illy, and Illy is obs like they're obsessed with that shit in Europe. Russia? Russia? Russia, no? That's the Russian flag, right? Isn't it? But wait, that's EU. Is Russia part of the EU? Why doesn't it seem Russian? Why is it French but not French? Yo. I don't think we're Russian. I don't think we're Russian. I think we are in a different country. My guess right now, my leading guess is a major city. What flag is that? It's not Romanian, but it looks like Romania. So I'm just going to guess in the middle. Hungary, Budapest. It was Slovenia. No universe, I get that. No universe, I get Slovenia. I think I would have gotten a better score if I went Romania. Hotel Pueblo Nuevo. Okay, it's a new Pueblo. That's pretty pog. 15th of July. There's some shit going down. Okay, we're speaking Spanish. We're driving on the right side of the road. There's fucking tacos. I mean, you tell me. Feels like, feels like it's an Oceanside City. Corona? It's Mexico City. Sometimes it's other places. Fuck me. Driving on the left side of the road. They're on bikes. 
They're wearing not helmets. They are wearing helmets. I can't tell. Dude, I'm so fucking mad. I can't believe I lost. I'm like so stuck now. I'm so hard stuck bronze. This is bullshit. I'm not a bronze player. Vietnam? It said Indo. Here's the thing. I don't read chat, and I just do it as quickly as I can. And not every time it'll be perfect. It's, that's, that's, it's, a, it's a competitive game. As long as I'm closer than my opponent, I'm fine. And my opponent didn't guess? It's so rarely Indonesia. Okay, driving on the left, I think. What? Thailand, straight up. Wait, I should have gone to a major city. New York Hotel? Why the fuck would you want a New York base hotel? What does it come with rats? It was Singapore? Never would I get there. What is this? Per is this person throwing? Is this person throwing? I'll take it. That's free rank. That's free rank, baby. Fucking idiot. <laughs> That's easy, boys. Easy clap. Free rank up. One more win and we're silver. One more win and we're... Th this is the what dreams are made of. <sighs> Me versus Charlie Kripe. Phone number seven digits doesn't have an area code. Immediately it makes me think it's North America, New North Road, 2004, limited company. Driving on the right. This does seem like vintage North America. But is it Canada? Kingsland. Wait, Kingsland. That makes me think now it's like New Zealand or Australia. We are in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, I think we're in I think we're in New Zealand. New, we're in New Zealand. We're in New Zealand. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Cockland. I'm going downtown Cockland. This is it, baby. This is the silver rank up we needed. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, please don't be another AFK player. He's not. He's just bad. Let's go, dude. We literally got it right on. We were within a few miles. Insane. What the fuck? I'm in an office? Uh, French? King Louis? What the hell? I'm in a museum? Uh, <laughs> alright. This is, this is, this is, this is France, right? I think. I think these are French monarchs. Well, I, I don't know. Paris, I suppose. It was in Lithuania in the, in the town of Vilnius. Okay. We are about to win. We are about to win. Give it to me, game. Give it to me. That was not the Louvre. The Louvre is a little more whelming. That was a bit underwhelming. Northern Hemisphere. Driving on the right side of the road. There's guys wearing helmets. Okay. I don't want to say it, but I think we're in America for some reason. Just like a, call it a gut call. Just feel like we might be in Texas. I 
I didn't know they got down like that in Russia. I'm certainly getting European vibes. Barcelona. Oh no, it was Valencia. Damn it, we even got the right state or country. Oh, shit. All right, all right. We don't want to give him too much time to heal because we we are ahead. So we we have to just guess, guess. Honestly, this just looks like the UK. But we're driving on the right, so maybe France. Finland, North Finland. Okay, he didn't heal that much. That's okay. We can we can take him out with one fell swoop and we can go back to silver and then we can move on with our day. Stripe, Russia. Stripes over checks. Lost my respect. I think it's Russia, man. I'm stuck. It's a dead end. Stop. Northern Ham driving on the right. Somewhat run down roof on that building. It generally seems like a lot of white people. Very, very, very tip of Romania. This is silver, baby. This is silver right here. Let's go! It was Romania. We get it done! Give me the rank up! Woo, woo, woo! So we did nothing today. Nice. It's probably what it feels like to be a Valorant streamer, right? <laughs> You spend all day playing just to be at the same rank that you started at. <laughs> that's great. That's magnificent. Uh, all right, boys. Uh, that That's enough of that. We got to move on. That's uh, agenda item one out of the way. Uh, maybe we'll play again a little bit tomorrow. Uh, but what else do we have going on today uh, is this new uh, higher or lower. Higher or lower is a game we've played on stream several times. And, uh, and, and normally, um, it's played with, oh, you know what, actually, I have to fucking, I have to piss really bad. I have to piss really bad, so, one second. Hello, everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's a type of cream you can put on your body that matches your skin color and hides your tattoos. Here's a cat that always looks confused. Using deep fake computer technology, this person had the opportunity to interview various celebrities at the same time. Yeah, to the yeah. beat of my own drum, you know, I do what I want. I'm a producer these days, you know. I do my own stunts, I do everything. Do you produce so. all the... Yeah. All the Im impossibles. You have a McGregor! Yes, yes, Every single so. one until, until... That's impossible. <laughs> That's <was laughs> very yeah. Think about it. Wait, this is so deep faked, right? Is that what they just said? These two look so bad, but you Do looked good. Well, I mean, ultimately, it's, the, it's a show, but there's nothing. It's about nothing. But yeah. even nothing is something. Well, you know. You're a head okay. and shoulders commercial gone wrong, okay? The voices for deep fakes are good. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Sneezed on me. This is what a beach in Pakistan looks like. Holy shit. It's so blue. I'm keeping this in my mind for GeoGuessr. Dude, it sucks because I feel like the Middle East is actually so beautiful and has such amazing food, but tourism's not much of a thing because of all of... Um, 
well, the American government's war operations <laughs> in most of the area, <laughs> which um, <laughs> laughing mostly because I'm uncomfortable because I'm American. <laughs> Whoa! The Andromeda Galaxy is on course to crash directly into the Milky Way Galaxy. The collision of the two galaxies is expected to happen in about 4 billion years. Wait, isn't that our galaxy? What's at the center of a... I, I, I don't want to ask. This person was dumb. caught stealing blankets from this moving truck. I don't want to ask. This lady stealing pads from my truck. No, I... What the fuck? Why is she doing like the like the pose? I'm borrowing. You can have them back. Around. It's a black hole. So at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is a massive black hole. Is that it? Is that like the sun of the galaxy? Like what the what the sun is to a to a solar system? Well, oh, wait, right? Wait, is that? Wait, am I thinking of this right? Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Does it provide warmth? I assume if it has enough energy to keep everything around it, it does. No? Interesting. Can I have him back now? No. Crazy? Crazy human? Oh, you're going to get pulled up for sure. Oh terrifying here's a really good boy that loves to get pet i can't tell if they do or like like if they don't do it what the fuck would change it's a fish okay he likes it he likes it he likes it do you think the heat is what keeps the earth in orbit no that was more so like an ad additional question that's in this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Later. Oh, oh shit, no, we're good. All right, uh, boys, it's time for a bit of higher lower. Now, we've done a few higher lowers in the past, and it's actually usually pretty fun to play against chat, but this one I think is particularly fitting for where we are at um, in my life, specifically with a recent movie coming out. Uh, so let's, let's get to it. <clears throat> Boys, today we are playing a 1v1, but it's going to be me against all of my chat, specifically playing a game of higher lower. It's a very popular game. You guess which one's higher or lower rated, but we're not doing it for Google searches. We're doing it for something new. We're doing it for movie ratings. Which movie is higher rated? Me versus chat. This will be the goal today for me to beat out my chat uh, in a higher lower ranking. We're going to do this classy best of five. First to three. Fellas, you know how it goes. Uh, so that's the plan. That's the plan today, boys. Uh, I'll take a turn. Then you'll take a turn. You'll vote. And you'll go on so, so, so long, so far, so forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the question, boys. What are we playing for? Because if it's me versus you, I want something good if, when I win. Okay? Because you guys keep talking that shit, right? You guys keep, keep talking shit on me. And here's the fact of the matter. I know I'm going to win. I know that I am goaded at this and you guys have bad, dumb movie takes. So I want something kind of nice if I win this. Not only does everybody need to like the video. Not only does everybody need to subscribe, regular subscription, not membership. I would never ask you guys to become a member if you do not want to or do not have the liquid income. Two free things. Both of those given. 
I also need you guys to ask your mom for her credit card, okay? And then just type in chat again, because like at the end of the day, I, I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not making money from you guys, but I need to be making money from someone, okay? So, so I need you guys to send me screenshots, <laughs> pictures, all right? Just take a quick pic. And I and and here's the fun thing. Here's the fun thing, because there's because there's ten thousand people in here. I am only going to take ten credit cards, which means that most of you guys, nothing will come of this. So, you know what I you know what I mean? Like you're probably safe either way. <laughs> you know what I actually want? Everybody who is watching this live and on YouTube in the video needs to follow me on Instagram. I am so holeless on Insta. I, I everybody makes fun of me on Insta because I don't have enough followers. I don't. I'm, it, I don't. You know. I don't even have a million. And everybody makes fun of, uh, of me in the social functions. And I have great posts too. I have such. I have such great posts. Like like me with my dog. Me with the yard boys. Tommy in it. Me and my girlfriend. Look at this one. It's me in a in a costume. So so that's what I need. That because I know this video will get more than a half million views, and that's how many followers I have. So if I win, you have to follow me on Instagram. If I lose, what do you want? What do you want if I lose? Okay, I can't go to Twitch. I can't give you all my shoes. I did a Souls week. I played Elden Ring for a week straight. I'm not going to delete my Instagram. That seems unfair. Subathon 2.0 is not worth Instagram followers. Okay, okay. I th you know what? This was a this is this was a this wait, wait, this was a decent suggestion. I will let you tweet on my account. I will let you guys tweet off my Twitter account if I lose. Whatever you want. That's not a bad deal. Dude, you understand that I get a fucking follow. That's fair. That's fair. That's a fair deal. Pluck your eyelashes? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Post on Insta? Is that better? I'm down. That's To me, that's worse. To me, that's worse. Straight up. But I'm down. I'll give you exchange. Do you agree? So the terms are, if I win, you all have to follow me on Instagram. If I lose, you ha uh, you get to post on my Instagram account. Do you agree? Yes or no? Go ahead and vote. I lost my leg from hitting a, uh, a. I lost my leg from a semi truck hitting me two years ago. What? When I got my prosthetic, or excuse me, when I get my prosthetic, I will make it mogul moves themed. If you win, uh, what? What if I lose? You, you still get the prosthetic, right? Let's just make sure you get the prosthetic either way here, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys have voted yes, sixty-two to thirty-eight percent better than any election in the past 100 years so let's get to it boys 
Higher, lower, best of five, first to three, me versus chat. Who goes first? You? I'll flip a coin. Heads, I go first. Okay, I'm going first. I'm going first. It's me. Dude, I love these bars. They're so delicious, but I don't think they're healthy for me. Uh, okay. Me first. Boot it up, baby. The artist versus the call of the wild. The Call of the Wild, I thought, 2020. Sorry, I thought the Call of the Wild was the one where he goes to Alaska by himself and writes in a journal and then dies and someone finds his journal. But The Artist is like a good movie, right? I'm going to go lower. Okay. There's no universe where Doolittle featuring Robert Downey Jr., which I have never heard of, is higher rated. Captain America Civil War has to be higher. This was the best Captain America movie. It's like it's a clean lower. It's a this movie shouldn't have existed. Argo won an Academy Award. Higher. Clerks. I don't think Clerks was appreciated in its time, but it's now considered a cult classic. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna yellow higher. It was even. Okay. Even meant I would have won either way, but that was dangerous. Zombie Land double taps lower. The sequel was pretty boring. It wasn't bad. It was all right. It was fine. Blair Witch Project is a, a, a highly heralded scary movie. Not very scary, but higher. What? <sighs> okay. Seven is the score to beat chat. Now it's your turn. The question is, higher, is it higher? Yes or no? And we're going with Pinocchio. The 1940 original P Pinocchio. It's 100% yes. Let's take a look. You guys are absolutely right. Next one is Shrek. Oh, this is tough. Two animated movies. Shrek or Pinocchio. Shrek is a cult classic. It's not even a cult classic. It's just a fucking classic. There's no cult. It's just popular. Everyone's going yes? Let's find out. Oh, fuck. This is hard. Shrek or Goodfellas? Dude, I, I be asking myself that sometimes. Shrek or Goodfellas, what is a better rated movie? I like Goodfellas. It just doesn't have as many funny ha-has like Shrek or a Marvel movie. All right, 56% yes. Okay, it was, it was much higher rated. Okay, how about Goodfellas or the highest earning movie of all time, James Cameron's Avatar. Ooh, big time lower. Let's find out. You're right. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Avatar, the highest grossing movie, or Avengers, the thing I think that came close but did not beat it. Uh, but the, the first Avengers... First Avengers. I think the, the 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 final Avengers did beat Avatar for a moment, but Avengers higher. No way. No way. This is where you guys are dumb. This is where you guys are dumb. There's no universe that the original Avengers is rated higher than Avatar. Avatar, I think, is a mid-movie, but critics rated it so high. Fuck! Point two! 
The artist. The artist. I forgot. Didn't that come up earlier? We are. We're already at repeat territory. Didn't this one literally come up and it's 7.8? It's 7.9. I'm getting fucking scammed. I'm getting fucking scammed. Dude, why is yours so much easier than mine? Dude, why is yours so much easier? All right, fine. The artist or the Shawshank Redemption? I think Shawshank Redemption, when it came out, was one of the worst rated movies of all time. <sighs> okay, I was trying to bait. I was trying to bait. I was trying to bait. <laughs> so obviously higher. <laughs> what a fucking... For the win! What's higher rated? The Shawshank Redemption or Oz? The Great and Powerful. <sighs> this is so fucking rigged. Dude, this is so fucking rigged. All right, you guys win. You guys win. I'm going to refresh so we don't go through them all. All right, you guys win. One point, chat. Now it's my turn. Okay? One point, chat. I'm going to end your streak because you beat me and I don't want to keep going because we're going to see too many options. You know what I mean? My turn again. It's 1-0, best of five, first of three. I'm not out yet. We could have hit 20 easy. Okay, don't brag. Titanic or Pirates? Pirates is way lower. Dude, this is so rigged. S like, I, seriously. Think about it. I, I had one of the hardest ones ever. And then you had one where they were equal score. So higher or lower, you would have won. It, it didn't matter whether you were right or stupid. You would have guaranteed one. 2-0, but I'm about to turn on the Jets. Lower. Lower. Higher. It's such a bad fucking movie. Lower. Yes! Higher. Higher. No. Dude. This is so much harder. This one in Academy Award. I think this one for best... For best actor... Uh, higher. Yes! Okay. Lower. There's a reason they didn't make a third. Seven point one. Seven point eight. This movie was really good. Higher. Lower. 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 Higher. I'm going nuts! Lower. I love the song in this one, though. Ha! 
Half Blood, Half Half Blood Prince was the first one with, with with Loop Loop Lupin Lupin Lu um, the good actor. I think it's higher. It was higher, right? Seven point eight, seven point seven. Lower. Fuck. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen, dude. Good fucking luck. Good luck. You'll need it. You'll need it. Bad Boys for Life 2020 with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence or SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. Honestly, kind of a hard one. By point one, dude. What is better? SpongeBob SquarePants the movie or Django Unchained? Both great movies, but I did think it was weird how in SpongeBob SquarePants they kept saying the N-word. It didn't seem as applicable as Django Unchained. Higher it is. Sorry, I guess I'm just not scared to say things like that. Superman Returns, 2006. I mean, what an what a what a what a layup, right? Like what a genuine layup. Superman Returns or the new Batman featuring Robert Pattinson? Higher? I liked Seven. I just wish there was more funny ha-has. Seven or The Gentleman? I don't even know what the gentleman is. Ooh, tough one. The gentleman or Birdman or the unexpected virtue of ignorance. 2014 was a good year for movies. Okay, you guys are going higher? You're stupid! Let's go! Let's go! All right, all right, two to one. The score is now two to one. This is my comeback. This is how we win. All right, baby, let's go, let's go. Cars or Star Wars 5? Star Wars 5 is the best Star Wars, higher. Superman Returns, way lower. Spotlight, way higher. Great movie. El Mariachi, lower. The Wizard of Oz, the original, higher. Classic, classic. 2012, lower. Terrible movie. The Amazing Spider-Man, higher. Had promise. The Fellowship of the Rings, higher. Great movie. Doolittle, lower. Terrible. Twilight, higher, even though it's not good. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? 
You have to beat nine to win. But if you lose, we go to game five. Green Lantern or Transformers Age of Extinction? Higher. Dude, I almost won right there. I almost won. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I almost won. Point one. It was point one higher. Dude, that one fucking critic. Transformers, Age of Extinction, or Rogue One? Dude, such an easy... What a layup. What a layup. What a layup. Just a fucking layup, dude. Transformers or the Amazing Spider-Man? Is it lower? Wait, I thought it was higher. It's way lower. The Amazing Spider-Man or Onward, the Pixar movie? me now. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Fuck. Onward or The King's Speech? The 2010 hit movie? Wait, I think this is lower. I think this is lower. King's speech was boring as fuck. I've never heard of Primer in my life. I hope it's higher. Please. Oh, dude, no. No, 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 no. The Chronicles of Narnia. Prince Caspian. There's no universe. This is higher. There's no universe. There, this. That's so unlucky. No. They're the same. Oh, they're the same. Oh, that's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. Dude, that's so unlucky. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I needed one person to go on IMDb and rate it lower. Oh, what, what did I get, chat? Did I get nine? Did I get nine? I got nine, right? Okay. Dude, make it hard. Make it hard. Make it hard. Please make it hard. You have to make it hard in the next one, game. Game, do not fuck me. You have to make this hard. Zombie Land Double Tap versus The Dark Knight Rises. You gotta make it hard here. You gotta make it hard. Okay, you guys went with higher. Chat. That was rigged. That was fucking rigged. Okay, dude. Okay, here's the thing. I, I, I am a man of my word. And I owe you an Instagram story. And I, and, 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 and I'm, and I'm happy to supply. 
I could give you an Instagram story if you wanted. We could do that. Or we could make it a little interesting. I offer you a double or nothing. Right now you have one Instagram post. Boohoo. 500,000 followers. Nobody will see it. It will die into obscurity. Gone forever. What if, what if you could post on Instagram and also on Twitter.com? Think about it. Think about a dream. Think about a dream world. You can post on Instagram and Twitter.com. Wait. What's that? He's not done yet? There's more? That's right. Let's do one double or nothing. And if I lose, I'll give you guys an Instagram post, a Twitter post, a TikTok post. By God, I'll let you post on my YouTube community page. I'll give you guys the lot. Now, let's think about this. What do you risk? What do you risk? Listen to the word. Listen to the word. I'm going to give you guys this. Uh, I'm going to teach you a business strategy. It's called double or nothing. What do you risk? Nothing. But what could you gain? Access to 4 million people with memes, bits, jokes, whatever it be. There's only 500,000 people on Instagram. You are basically reaching 3.5 million people in exchange for nothing. So here's the question. Very simply, chat. Double or nothing. You guys have voted yes on the poll. 50% yes, 49% no. It's double or nothing then. nothing best of three first to two you guys go first good luck if I lose you get a post on every social media website
You're cheating! What's higher, Parasite or Rogue One? Rogue One or Rocky? Come on, come on, come on. Rocky, you're the fucking Academy Award winning movie, Titanic. You're baited! You're stupid! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! I baited you! It already came up! Oh, oh, this is how we win. This is how we win. This is how we win! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> okay. And now, he will try. All right, let's get chat in. Chat, here you go. Go ahead and vote, you fucking cheating two monitor Andes. Dude, you guys are literally cheating. You're literally cheating! Ah! This is just like GeoGuessr. X-Men or Sex in the City? That's a tough one, huh? What a tough one! What a tough one! That's real hard. Who could forget how the critics raved over sex and the city?
Dude, it's like a fucking Pixar movie. I don't even think it can be below 7.2. Dude, actually, this Transformers movie was really good. And I enjoyed it a lot. Wait, this is hard. This is a hard one. Transformers The Last Night or Saw 4? website fucking sucks. There's like eight movies on it and chat just fucking cheats on every single one and remembers the other ones. There's no way. There's no way Toy Story's higher. <laughs> but what do you mean emoji movie? Like 3.2 it's just so free now! Oh my god, this is fu this is- this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I can still fucking win. I, I, I still have the high score. You guys have never gotten to 15 ever. This was actually the best pitch perfect. A lot of people say that. I misclicked. I misclicked. All right, we'll just we'll continue. You guys are at you guys are at 13. We'll continue. I misclicked. So I misclicked. It happens. We'll just continue. You're at 13. Fourteen. My excuse me. Excuse me. I misclicked. I'm just a little bit disheveled. Fourteen. Now you're at fifteen. Excuses. I'm sorry that you have a fucking second monitor with IMDB open, op like opening everything. Fucking no hoes, no maidens, zero things to do tonight. And then you're mad at me for misclicking once. Wait. Yes! Okay. Okay, the final number is, is 15. You guys got 15. Okay? It was, a, it was a misclick. You guys got 15 total. So I have to get 16. I have to get a new record to win. Oh, fuck. Or 16. Yes, excuse, excuse me. 
All right, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off hot with a lower. I'm typing to add dolphin shoals. Higher. I think it's lower. Fuck. It's gotta be lower. It, it, it won an Academy Award. I, it's gotta be lower. I'm not searching it up. My hand is here. My left hand's here. Uh, it's on the mouse. You can see the mouse move. You're stupid. Chat, let me just think for a moment. I think it's lower. Spectre, I feel like, is lower. It was the worst Bond movie with Craig. That's a good movie. Higher, but it's it's lower than I think. I think it's 7.7. .7. I think it's like uh, I think Titanic 7.8 Men in Black 3 Hands up hands up I think Men in Black 3 has to be lower There's no way it's like an 8 you know what I mean It'd be crazy if Men in Black 3 was an 8. I'm gonna go lower. I don't remember. I think it was low. I think it was lower. I think it was like, I think it was like six point five. I'm not typing in anything except for a song because of the song just ended. I'm going lower. I already said this. Okay, I think I'm gonna go lower here. Higher, easy. There are no movies from the 1950s that would even be in this list unless they were great movies. Yes! I never watched it. I assume it's higher, but that's because I watched Rogue One and Rogue One was good. <sighs> Women. Oh 
Okay. This has to be lower. It has to be lower. Yes. 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 Okay. Uncut gems has to be higher. Let's go. Let's go. New record, bitch. Oh, my God. 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1 one, one now. I got 16. That's enough. That's it. Just for some icing on the top. 17. Let's go, dude. <sighs> Fucking yeah, dude. Okay. All right. Chat, now it's your turn. Open water or saw four? Poll is live now. This is for the final game. This is for everything. You guys are voting yes, it is lower. Okay? You got played! Let's go! Dude, I planned that round one. And I was like, oh, if I get to game three, fuck yeah! Here it is. Here it is. Here's the proof. Is it lower? 58% yes, 41% no, 3,000 votes. <laughs> Woo! Hey, that's fair. That's fair. You have to read. That's not on me. That's a that's a vintage scam. That's authentic. Which then <laughs> I wonder what's higher Iron Man 3 or Sonic the Hedgehog Um, probably Iron Man 3 GG, fellas. It's been a pleasure playing, but uh, unfortunately, I believe you guys all lost, and I am the winner. Um... <laughs> Wait, what do you... Okay, you guys... You can't riot. We don't allow rioting. You guys, fall. please fall in order. It's 2-1. I just won. I just beat you guys. Don't unfollow my Instagram. I beat you fair and square. I beat you guys. I literally beat you. You got got. Chat. How are you guys rioting? My fair win. Okay. You guys think that it's a mulligan? Do you want to redo? Fine. I'll give you a redo. One final game. 1v1. But here's the thing. 
if you win, you get the Insta post, the Twitter post, the TikTok, and the YouTube community post. But if I win, you guys have to all follow me on Instagram. One game, no scam, straight up honest gameplay. We'll forget the whole thing happened. And you know what? Just, just, hey, just for good grace, I'll go first. Best of one. I'll refresh so I don't start with anything additional. Okay. Ford versus Ferrari. The f Lower. That was really close. I'm going to go with lower. Shit. Scary movies are so hard to rate. It, however, was one of the most heralded scary movies ever. I would have to assume it's higher. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End is actually a shockingly high-rated movie. It's so high, in fact, it's rated higher than the original, or I guess the only, Titanic. Twilight is a stinking pile of poop. El Mariachi is higher. I can't remember. I think it was 6.8. Maybe it was 7, though. I remember it. Dude, I remember you guys got it. I thought it was 6.8. Was it 7? Was it 7.2? I thought it was 6.8. It was either 6.8 or 7.2. I can't remember. Heads, I go higher. Tails, I go lower. Justice League. I never watched it. Was Justice League the one they recut with the Snyder cut? Wasn't it so wildly bad that they had to re-release it? I thought it was bad. I thought it was a bad movie. It's bad, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. But here's the thing. Every single superhero movie is rated so high. Fuck. Oh, God. Maybe I flip another coin. No, I think it's higher. I think it's higher. Is this the Snyder Cut? I don't remember. I think it's higher. 6.7 is low. Higher. It's got to be like a 7. No, I don't know. I don't fucking know. What does the coin say? What does the coin say? Heads higher, tails lower. Okay. Fuck. So 
You guys need to get nine. So fucking happy. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Chat, every poll will be is it higher? Good luck. Knives out or the shape of water. Fuck. Wait. You guys voted lower? Wait. I thought I won. The Shape of Water won an Academy Award! No, 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 no! No! Stop! Come on, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. All right. <laughs> yeah, fucking the Lion King. It's a fucking Lion King, of course. Oh, dude, I'm so stressed. You guys voted higher! You voted higher! Wait! Wait! Higher. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! It was the 2019 remake! Let's go! Easy W, boys! Oh! Oh, that feels great. That feels great. Oh, I can't, but that was so lucky. That was so lucky the Lion King came up. Oh, that was so lucky. Dude. I I had a bit of acting chops in there. The Lion King came up and I went, oh. Double or nothing? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> but hey, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash Ludwig Ogren. Take a look at it, boys. A lot of great posts to be found on the sub, uh, the Instagram. So definitely take a look. Instagram.com forward slash Ludwig Ogren. You know? Hey, c come come follow. You know? Fair. I, I want fair and square. I want fair and square. I, 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 I do. You cannot unfollow. I won. I didn't scam. I didn't scam. I just owned you. I destroyed. I demolished. Chat, you just choked. Trust me, I've been there. I know what it's like. I feel you. Fair's fair, fellas. Thanks for following the Instagram. Let's fucking go! That was so lucky. That was so I actually thought I was fucked. Uh boys, now it's time for another segment. Uh I've been doing this thing lately where I ask my mods to get a list of things 
to react to. It's somewhat like reacting to a subreddit, but it's more so catered around things that I want to um, look at. Uh, and so I have, I have, I have a, a bunch of them. Uh, this one is a list of the greatest human achievements. Uh, so we, yeah, we've done this a few times. Uh, like we did it with the, the weird speed runs. We did it with like the greatest speed runs. Uh, and all those videos do really, really well. Um, I think the first one has like a million views, which is crazy. And the, the second one's well on the way to a million views. Uh, so this is this is another one of, of those. Uh, but it is, excuse me, it is, uh, it is the greatest human achievements. Um, so I don't know. That's, 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 that's what it is. We'll take a look at it. Take a look at the greatest, the greatest achievements. They should be fun videos to watch. Uh, classics, all that good stuff. I do have to quickly take a piss though. So, um, followed Instagram W. Uh, followed on Instagram W. Thank you very much, Big W. All right, all right. Hold up, hold up. Let me pee real quick. I'll let Atriok entertain us. With his samurai. He seems so focused when he plays. This is that same thing. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! What the hell? This map is so big! This map is so fucking big! Holy shit! Dude, look at all this over here. I didn't even fucking... I didn't even see... Okay. Oh my god. That's crazy. So, okay, I want to go. That's north, I want to go south. I want to go south. There's balloon men. Oh. Okay, what is this raging debate? There's some raging debate going on as to whether there are more doors or wheels. I don't get what the debate is. There's obviously more wheels than doors. It's not close. You're dumb and a fool. What? The thing is... There might be more wheels just... Just with cars alone. Not... Not even considering. Not even considering the amount of wheels from like bikes. Okay, motorcycles, scooters. Cars have doors. Son of a bitch. There are more doors. I've changed my mind completely. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I've changed my mind completely. Do toy vehicles count as wheels? Like like hot cars, hot wheels. And the thing is, I wouldn't consider them doors. I don't think Hot Wheels have doors on them. But do dollhouses count as doors? It's tough. Because a small wheel and a big wheel are still functionally a wheel. But a small door and a big door are not functionally the same door because they can't permit humans through. But they are, they open and close. Oh, it's tough. This is tough. A cupboard cabinet, or a cabinet is not a door. 
If people are counting cabinets as doors, you know, then it's just anything that opens. Then people are like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of doors. Check it out. And playing peekaboo. Yeah, a closet has a door, but a cabinet's not a door. Oh, this is hard. This is harder than I originally thought. I forgot that cars have doors on them. God damn. Cars having doors is a game changer. But there what, are, yeah, are, ge are gears wheels. There's more wheels. There's more wheels. There's more wheels. There's more wheels. Spare tire. You're thinking little picture. Think of like a spoke on a bike. Think of each tire on a bike. Wheels are prevalent everywhere. Gears are wheels. Trains have wheels. Steering wheel? There's so many wheels, dude. All right, what's the chat think? What is the vote? D chairs have wheels on them. My chair has five wheels. Fridges usually have wheels on them. Wheels are such an integral part of everything in society. Wheels are like, wheels are like, 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 important. What is there more of? Wheels... Doors. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I'm team wheels through and through. It's closer than I thought. I'll admit that. Skyscrapers. Here's, here's my hot take. I think skyscrapers have more wheels in them than doors in them. A skyscraper, like a genuine office building with, with just like, with just like a hundred chairs on a floor is 500 wheels right there. You know what I mean? The pulley system that elevators use to go up and down is created through a series of wheels. And it's one door. That's it. I think the problem is wheels get are smaller and more compact and still significantly useful, whereas doors are only really useful at human height. And all the other doors are, like, gimmicky. Small doors are gimmicks. Small wheels are integral. Dog door's a gimmick. That's a gimmick. Dude, I'm just saying, if, 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 like, we are at war and you're like, oh, you have chairs with wheels on them, well, check this out. And your only argument is cabinet doors? You're smoking weed. You're so off. You're not close. That's your best fighter? You're dying on that hill? No way. No way. What about Monsters, Inc.? What do you, what is, okay, and that's, okay, and now I understand who door believers are. <laughs> now, now I understand door users to a T. Door users, just a bit, just a bit, a bit light up there, you know what I mean? 
a bit hollow. Fridge door. There's wheels on the bottom of a fridge usually. More. You think the lions would win, so I don't respect your perspective? There are more lions. You know what? I think there's more lions than doors. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Let's get a new argument going. 18 wheelers, every single piece of luggage, trains, toy cars. I end my case. Some of those are better examples than others. No, a cabinet's not a door. But even if it was, you'd still lose. Define door. It it, it go throughable and it, like it allows access to new spawn area. I don't know. I, this is a hard thing to do. I'm not a scientist. What does Schlatz chat think? IP address has been locked. Come on, Eileen. All right, boys. I agree with you, but if you count toy car wheels, then you have to allow cabinet doors. That's what you're misunderstanding. Small wheels are not as gimmicky as small doors. Small wheels are a useful thing. Uh, it's time. It's time to take a look at some Chivos, some achievements. Uh, specifically, the greatest human achievements. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, a hinged sliding or evolving barrier at the entrance to a building room or vehicle or in the framework of a cupboard. Okay, you, I feel like you added that last sentence. It sounds like you tacked that last one in there. All right, boys. Today, we are taking a look at the greatest human achievements. We've been watching a lot of speedrun videos lately, and it's pretty fun to look at speedruns, but... Let's expand our horizons beyond the limits of video games we've created and runs that we do to anything a human can do and take a look at some of the most impressive humans in the world while we sit lazily at home thinking to ourselves, yeah, I could probably do that if I tried really hard. All right, let's get to it. Starting with Bob Beeman's long jump world record. Holy shit, never mind. This is a 10 minute video. Parachute from space. This is classic, dude. This is one of the greatest moments in human history. But honestly. It seems kind of easy to do. <laughs> I, I, like, I understand there's more to it, but he is just falling. He's just falling. All right, anyway, that's a classic tale as old as time. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Dude, what is... My mods put streamer streams for 30 days. Thank you. This is not one of the greatest human achievements. This is not even... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's up there, obviously. I would call it like... The thing is, it's not a human achievement. It's more like a galactic achievement. Like, I would I would imagine aliens would probably struggle at this. <laughs> aliens would probably be like, oh, fuck. 30 days, though? Damn. Three gobbledygooks, whatever they call it. Uh, 1,185 partial deadlift. Cough. And as one of the lightest men in the competition. Lift. He's gonna do this. This guy's Ukrainian. This man is just a bag of tricks. With only 300 pounds. Dude, that that looks ridiculous. That looks that looks stupid. It looks like a cartoon character. The 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 weights are so huge. 
I this can't be a standard bar, right? Like the bar would snap normally. There's five on each side. There's ten total. So each of these is like one hundred pounds or something. That's crazy. They do look like wheels for like a big truck. <laughs> crazy thing. That's Ukraine's weakest soldier. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. This is that's the crazy thing. He's literally the worst. <laughs> the rest of them, wow, blow your mind. All right, all right, let's take a look. Surprises at every turn. I think this weight is just a little beyond what he can do. Oh no! I don't believe it. Well, we have a new world record, Colin. Dude, that's ridiculous. This weight is just a little beyond what he can do. Oh. Look at that. Look at the bar. It's bending. How do his wrists not just fall off? Oh, no! I don't believe it. Well, we have a new world record, Colin. That is just extraordinary. He points at himself like he always knew he was going to do it. We sure didn't know he was going to do it. That's tremendous. Dude, I deadlift 200 and like 50 pounds, and I, I, I had to stop after one rep because I almost passed out because I was straining so hard. <laughs> Which happens sometimes on deadlift as opposed to most uh, lifts. I can't believe he was like so casually did it and then just points to himself. State champs, walks away. And yeah, body weight does help. It is just surprise after surprise with this guy, Novikov, with a world record weight of 1185 What a god. That's right, he's eclipsed Tom McGee's record that stood for many years, decades. There's been other pretenders to the crown, but he's got it. He certainly has, so he takes the event with a world record weight of 1185 pounds. Bish wasn't it, who was, who was the, uh, wasn't there a British guy who got the deadlift record? What's his name? Isn't it Ed something? Or is that was that a different lift? Was that squat? Eddie Hall? Is he not on why is he not on the list? Oh, it's just for this contest. Is five hundred kilograms more than this? It's not, right? It's actually Tom Scott, different British guy. Uh, anyway, impressive as fuck. Let's go next. Uh, John Ross's record-breaking 40-yard dash. Oh, this requires such explosive so energy. This is recent, right? A few years ago. Four two. That's what he told me. There he goes. He's moving. Where'd our number go? I don't know. Wait, there's a new 40-yard dash record? All right, let me look it up. <laughs> wow, that was fast. That was a... Hey, I'll keep it a stack. Didn't expect them to fly that quick. Uh, longest ever held breath. All right, I'm going to hold my breath in conjunction and see how long I can go matching up. <sighs> Don't play along at home. Don't play along at home. My name is Budimir Budashobat. I am 56 years old and I started to free dive when I was 48. I am addicted to training of any kind, so I have no problem with motivation. And I never stopped dreaming about achieving the top results in spite of my age. <sighs> okay, I, I I got a bad breath. I got a dude. I can go way longer than that. I had a bad initial breath. I it felt like it felt like I, I dude. Uh, I I usually go. Uh, no, I can, I, dude. I I can <laughs> I can go a couple minutes. Wait, what's it called? Longest voluntary breath? Wait, where did it say that? Addicted to train. Longest time holding breath voluntarily? <laughs> yeah, I prefer the involuntary category. It just feels more competitive and they've pushed the meta a bit further. <laughs> That's crazy.
There's definitely like a chance you just get brain damage from this, right? I want to see him leave the water. I've held my breath underwater. There's like a barrier of pain that's so hard to mentally get past. Like your brain stops you at 5% of what you're able to do. What is he counting? Bro, you're at 24 minutes. If you pass out, that's permanent damage. I guess that's why he's counting a bit for them. I bet that breath feels so good. If you breathe for the first time after 24 minutes, that probably feels so good. He started at 48 years old. That gives me hope. You say in Bolt 100 meter dash, classic. I'm going to say it. There's one person, I think, who could go faster than Usain Bolt. And his name is Sarah Jessica Ewing Parker, a.k.a. Atrioc. Atrioc is so fast. Atrioc's foot speed is nuts. He's got the longest strides I've ever seen in my life. 1,015-pound raw deadlift. What does that mean, raw? Benedict Magnuson, 1,015 raw that Oh, like he's not using the straps? They're naked? No belt? He definitely has a belt on. Unless it's one of those no belt belts. Dude, look at this guy. Reverse grip. No... Dude. He waited the cinema too. He just held it up for like a minute. He made that look free. What a clean pull. Oh, look at his legs though. They're shaking so much. That's so sick. That gives me nothing but anxiety of uh, lifetimes of back pain. He cannot be feeling good in 20 years, right? Like 20 years from now, his body is just like a, a, a painful carcass that just probably tortures him. It's got to hurt so much. It can't be good for you. In five years? Oh. 350 miles in 80... This is a thing? 350 miles in 80 hours without sleeping. You are looking at Superman. No, not. Oh. Okay, this is still impressive. I'm not going to take away from this guy's achievement. But part of me was hoping it was like Forrest Gump and he was just running randomly around the United States. I totally understand why you need to do it and, and keep you sure you're going to be alive. I, I, that makes sense, right? It makes total sense. But in my head, I jumped to, oh, Forrest Gump. And he's just going to be running on a random street. Not Superman from the movies. He's the real deal. Dean Karnazes' strength is so superhuman, he's the subject of medical studies. Why? Because he can actually run 350 miles without stopping. That's 10 merit. That's like, that's like 14 marathons. Hello. What's up? I'm alright. Why? I'm good. I'm, I ate. I had one of these bars. I bought them for you, too. I'm okay. You never want to eat them. I know. I'm not hungry right now. You can have one. Don't worry about me, man. I'll be good. I don't like not wanting to eat. 
I'm just not hungry, dude. Straight up. On God. No cap. Good news. Mm. Slime is sitting by you. Yeah, slime. Bad news, JHB is sitting by you. Yeah, JHB. <laughs> um, essentially, I had to move a bunch of stuff around, and I had to switch to two speakers and throw them. So it's going to be a new seat. Mm-hmm. All right. Take Thank you. Slime, Enjoy dinner. Can't wait for the awards. Let's go. I'm excited. Oh, you know what we should do today after this? We should do the award um, prediction thing, Chet. Remind me after this. I want to do that. That's the distance. He's been snacking nonstop on these bars. I'm not hungry straight up. Dude, I have been. They're delicious. I got them from Shark Tank, and they're called Kodiak Crunchy Granola Bars, and they're cookie butter flavor, which is my favorite flavor. And I don't think they're healthy for you, really. I think they're actually pretty unhealthy. They're not bad, I guess. But they're delicious, dude. They're like Nature Valley bars. From Los Angeles to San Francisco. Unbelievable. To run that far for that long is a superhuman feat. Nicole Marie Pinto is an exercise physiologist at the University of San Francisco Medical Center. He, his face and body look like, like, like what everyone who gets plastic surgery wants to look like. But I feel like it's just what he looks like. He's just so giga chatted that people plastically try to become him. She says as we exercise, lactate builds up, causing the body to cramp and tire, not deep. He surely has to pee while running, right? Such that he's able to continuously flush out lactates, allowing him to run in human distances. Dean runs a marathon unlike anyone else in the world. Oh, he's literally built different. He doesn't produce lactate. Okay, that makes sense. He's literally just built different than the rest of us. I always feel like that's obviously still impressive, right? Nothing to take away from this guy. But I always like people who have achievements that I could have done had I just put, like, the time in. You know what I mean? In this one, I just don't think I... Even if I put my whole life into it, I don't think I could do. Lactic acid's the thing that makes you sore, yeah? It's not about how fast I go. It's about how far I go. A regular marathon is 26.2 miles. That's child's play for Dean. He sets out at 2 a.m. to run his first marathon. And when that's finished, he does it all over again. Dude. Dude. Oh, you, dude, if you were lined up for a marathon and this dude ran up next to you and he was panting, it's like your first marathon, you're young, you're spry, you're like, hey, what's up, dude? He's like, hey, how's it going? Like, hey, why are you so tired? Oh, I woke up five hours before you and ran another marathon. I was just doing this one for fun. And then they're probably faster than you too? Oh, you quit. You quit right there. <laughs> There's no point. Runners at a marathon race in Monterey, California. Total running distance, a staggering 52.4 miles. For me, this is more like mile... Uh... 51. The the He's hardly sweating when he crosses the finish line. I feel like I just got warmed up. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Your life is so fucking good. God, I wish running wasn't a miserable hellscape so I could be fucking healthier. Eat 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes. I don't <laughs> It's like the, the tale of two humans. It's crazy. These are both humans who are the same species. And we live together on the same planet. <laughs> That's crazy. The glizzy gladiator. This park is shouting Joey and Jeffrey. Big A taught him everything he knows. Finally, real talent. You know what I mean? I'm tired of all these fucking cringy ass like, oh, I run fast. I go far. This is talent. His own record. Look at that crowd. He's, dude, it's crazy how much he gaps everyone. Second place is 49. Okay, fair enough. Either way, congrats, Joey Chestnut. Terrible. Philip Petit walks on a tightrope a tight rope between the tint twin towers, 1974. 
A 25-year-old French daredevil did a tightrope walk across the top of New York in 1974 on a 131-foot cable strung between the 110-story Twin Towers. They made a movie about this. Isn't this guy part of a family that does stuff like this? The World Trade Center. The aerialist, accomplished juggler and unicyclist is Philippe Petit, who said, I see three oranges and I have to juggle. I see two towers and I have to walk. Okay, chat. Yes, nobody can beat the record anymore, all right? <laughs> Forget. Jesus Christ. You can't go one chat message without someone being like, by the way, fellas, you might not know. <laughs> Fun fact. Have you guys heard? Stroll 1,350 feet above street level lasted 50 minutes from 7.05 to 7.55 a.m. Four times the 25-year-old Petit, who started out from the North Tower, walked to a point near the South Tower and then back north. Once he sat down on the wire cable, which is an inch in diameter, and another time he lay down on his back on the cable. Thousands of petrified onlookers, including pedestrians, motorists, early morning office workers, and frustrated police, watched helplessly as Petit defied what seemed certain death. Twice he bowed from the waist to the crowds below. He finally relented and walked onto the roof of the South Tower and into the arms of waiting cops. He did so after one burly cop shouted at him, Get the hell off there or I'm coming out after you. He did it illegally? That's so hype. That actually, that actually makes it so much more badass. Tolerant authorities said they would drop criminal trespassing and disorderly conduct charges if he would stage a similar performance for the public, possibly in Central Park, and at a less dizzying hype. <laughs> That's so scummy. <laughs> That's the scummiest thing I've ever heard of. All right, that was against the law, and you can't do it again un unless you happen to do it for, for, like, our event specifically. Like, if you could come, like, to our event, then, like, like then it'd be fine. But, like, you have to come to our event, and, like, also you have to, like, sign this autograph. <laughs> we, also, we also have to have, we have to be friends. Like, you have to be my friend. Within a week, he agreed. <sighs> Priorities. Uh, that's insane. A hundred meter freestyle swim, 47 seconds. Japan. <laughs> I wonder if they gave him a tough time. There's a story from, I think it's Robert Downey Jr. They turned him away at the border because he got arrested in the States before. They go hard, man. Uh, heaviest vehicle pulled by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy category. I've never even thought. I don't even know. I couldn't even give you a weight that I would assume it is. But all right, let's get it done. Women, get it done. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to say it. That feels like cheating. That feels like cheating. I I, I am here to pog for women, but why is there a bald dude right behind her? This feels like S fanned in Maya winning tug of war, but we all know who did the work here. He surely he lets go, right? Oh, oh, he's he's giving slack. Oh, I see, I see, I see. The rope, okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because she is pulling the rope and then the the bus in the truck is attached to her hip. And so he's just making sure there's no slack. I've never done this before, but it always seemed easier than it looked. But not necessarily a giant fucking truck with another car on the truck. That seems harder. Yeah, that's sick. Fooled me at first. I'm like, this is corny. Strong dude helping her out. <laughs> what an idiot, Brad. <laughs> Who would think something like that? 
Smallest target hit during a base jump skydiving. Oh. As seen on TV, China. Smallest target hit during a base jump. Oh. My name is Pat. I'm from the USA. I'm a wingsuit pilot. I've been doing this for a little bit over 13 years. And I just like making the sky my playground. No. No, man. Right now, the wind, I can hear it howling, yes. so it makes you nervous a little bit. Uh -huh. It's high altitude. We have a long ways to go fly to get to that target. Uh -huh. And you have to make sure to fly really precise to go yes. fly in that little target. Oh, oh, I think it should be done. Okay, good luck. Thank you. You can jump anytime. <laughs> Was this air, did this air in China? <laughs> the Chinese people have, have to have the weirdest impression of Americans. They have to have, like, the most psychopathic impression of, like, what Americans are. Because they get this, like, <laughs> random fucking dude who's in some random mountaintop in probably eastern China and just jumps off. Makes eagle noises. He gets at the bottom. They have McDonald's waiting for him. Chinese TV goes hard, dude. He has a parachute, right? You have to, right? It's it's just so tightly packed. I don't even see it. As I was flying at the target, oh, that was right, less there's cool. a natural aversion to missing things. You don't want to hit things with your head while you're flying, right? Oh, he's supposed to hit the target. And instead, he went in between it. He failed. I thought that was a success. He went in the middle of it. This video is edited so weird. It seems harder to go through that hole. Man, if you fuck up, it must be such a bitch to get back up the mountain. <laughs> it is so much easier to go down. Oh, well, quicker to go down. I wouldn't say it's easier. The editing on this is the most confusing thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, there it is. Poor red wingsuit guy just missed it. All right, that was a terrible edit. You know what's actually crazy, though, that's in this alley? Is, um, uh, farthest, f farthest fall without parachute. This video is crazy. Did you know, on July 30th, 2016, skydiver Luke Aitkins made history when he jumped from 25,000 feet out of an airplane without a parachute into a net on the ground, which set a new world record. All right, we're uh, just less than three weeks out, um, getting ready for Heaven Sent. We're in the final push of the training. There's a lot of focus from the film crews and the production guys on, on all the fitness and stuff like that, which is great, makes me feel better. Uh, but none of that stuff is what's going to keep me alive on the day. There's a better record now? I think it's probably a better video, practice, though. Practice, practice, practice. If I miss this target, it doesn't matter how good a shape you're in or any of this other stuff that happens. So hitting the target is the most important thing. Accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Fighting the wind, countering the wind, all that stuff. The next thing is that rollover. I need to roll over about 200 feet. I'm going to be going about 120 miles an hour. And roughly one second before I impact, I want to flip to my back and land real nice. It's different than a stunt roll. I have to fly my body around. Now, apparently, this was a big story at the time. It was even aired live on TV with the name of the show called Heaven Sent. But personally, I've never heard of it before. 
I just happened to come across his YouTube channel with videos of the jump. But before I show you the jump, let's quickly talk about who Luke Hakens is and how he prepared for the jump. I'm down. Luke, who was 42 at the time. Watch the new one. Someone said the new one, it, it was an accident, so they didn't record it. Of the jump is a third generation skydiver oh. who has been skydiving since the age of 16 and has deployed a parachute more than 18,000 times over the course of his skydiving and base jumping career. Luke Aikens is also a safety and training advisor for the United States Parachute Association, where he provides advanced skydiving training to elite military special forces. So I think it's safe to say he is more than qualified to know the risks associated with such a jump. Luke spent two years preparing for this jump, 1.5 years That's of training, so scary. and six months of straight training. And Luke told me they never once jumped from a plane into the net until the day they did this one and only jump. Now just to be clear, when Luke jumped from the plane, all he had was a GPS, a communication device, and an oxygen tank. What he didn't have was a parachute, a wingsuit, or anything else that might help him stop or slow his descent. After jumping out of the Cessna airplane at 25,000 feet, Luke quickly reached a terminal velocity of 120 miles per hour. Because Luke jumped from 25,000 feet, he had to wear an oxygen mask for the first 10,000 feet of the descent. After reaching about 15,000 feet, he passed off the mask and tank to a member of his support team who was skydiving next to him. Using his GPS and only the air currents around him, he lined up his fall to the center of a specialized 100 Dude, this by stresses 100 me foot out. net, which was designed to stop Luke's fall as softly as if you were standing on a trampoline and merely dropped onto your back. The net, dubbed the fly trap, was suspended between the tops of four 200 foot cranes. I know one of the things about it is you have to flip on your back because if you go into the net on your stomach, you'll break your neck because you'll flip. So you have to go on your back. So not only do you have to land in the net, but you have to not be looking at it. So you have to flip in the last few seconds. The netting itself is constructed from spectra, which is a high density polyethylene cord that is twice as strong as steel. When Luke reached about 200 feet above the net, or a little more than a second away from impact, he flipped onto his back and One second his left. Chin. Once Luke hit the net, Four compressed air cylinders, which are connected to the netting via ropes and pulleys, slowed him down in the same way that you might catch an egg in your hand, by decelerating it gently over a distance. The total time from jumping from the plane to hitting the net took about two minutes. But when you are falling from 25,000 feet into a small net you can't even see from 25,000 feet, I bet it felt like a lifetime. Luke Aiken set a new world record performing this jump. He was slightly and I right. You that's one world record that won't be beaten anytime soon. Well, he was wrong about that part. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Insane. Bye. What an insane feat. Ground must feel so good after that. Heaviest vehicle pulled by shoulder blades. What in the fuck? I feel like Guinness World Records has been, been such a treat for humanity because it, it is pushing us to be better at things that nobody needed to be good at. <laughs> I could not think of less practical uses uh, or feats, but it's cool. It's cool that somebody is pulling heavy vehicles with their shoulder blades and that it's a thing that people are trying to do. That's cool. That's cool. That's not what I thought this meant at all. What the fuck? I didn't... I don't know what I thought would be. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't think it'd be this. I didn't think it'd be this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate shoulder blades that are really pointy because I just feel like... Like, you know, like, oh, Mortal Kombat. Mm, all right. Okay. All right. I'll tell you when it's over if you guys want to... If you guys want to minimize. I'll tell you when it's over. Oh my god, it doesn't even make sense. Okay. Oh my god. For what? Thank god it's a front angle. Oh. Oh. I hate this. I'm like thinking about it. I feel like there's an old dude, like, slightly pushing the car. <laughs> it's 
who thinks of this? I don't know. It's over, it's over, it's over. A thousand kilograms achieved by Abhishek Chubi in India. You know what? The strongest man in the world couldn't do that. And that and that's why he is better than them. Epic stair climb balance brothers. Most consecutive stairs climbed while balancing a person on top of your head. <laughs> oh right. Okay. <laughs> that's that's huge. This is insane. So he's strapped. No, no, no. He has a cushion on top of his head. Is that it? There's a cushion. They have the same haircut. Are they twins? The Gang brothers previously broke this record in 2016, climbing 90 steps. Oh, it's so funny. There's not... There's not enough steps, so they have steps at the end of it. Like extra bleachers. One hundred, baby. Now they go back down. They're so ripped and hot. I'm going to say it. That felt easy. Like, not that I could do it. I mean, that I felt like they could have gone for 100 more steps. <laughs> if they just had a bigger staircase, I feel like they could have kept going. They were killing it. They made it look easy is another way to phrase it. Most walnuts crushed by elbows in one minute. Gut, just a gut check, chat. How many walnuts can you crush in a minute? Like, what's, like, you, a proverbial you. Just a, like, my gut feeling? 40? 50? I feel like you could do, like, a little over one a second. Not, not you personally. I mean, you, like, like a, like a how much could a human do? What do you think this record is? I think me personally, I could maybe, like, hit one and it'd probably hurt and I wouldn't crack it. Then I'd go for a second hit. But it hurt more, so I'd probably stop. <laughs> I'm a second in, and he is literally smashed eight. What? <laughs> this is like a fucking JoJo's character. He's even chanting. <laughs> is it XQC Street? <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. This is the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life. The accuracy of his diamond elbow. Holy shit. The crimson elbow. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I, dude, this is like, this is over 100. He's missed a few, but it's okay because he keeps going. Oh my god, the amount of pain. Walnuts are fucking thick. Oh, he's slowing down. He's slowing down. I don't even think we're close to a minute. Ten more seconds. Keep it up. Push! Three hundred fifteen, dude. I don't think anyone in chat guessed the number, or even in the range. It's crazy. He also did it on the same table that Putin does all his negotiations at. <laughs>
that's five per second. That's crazy. People can't button mash that fast. Well, actually, no, most people can. Still insane. Longest time spinning a basketball on a toothbrush. Okay, this gives me heavy. You couldn't get longest time spinning a basketball on a finger. So you came up with a new object to get a world record energy. Anyone else get that vibe? <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm the I'm the most subscribed YouTuber who has a chest hole whose name is Ludwig, who also loves the color yellow. Yeah, that's me. Why'd you ask world record? That's not how I thought this would go either. They're on like a world record chase for any records. Like Guinness is really just they're throwing anything up. Why doesn't it count? Why didn't you start the timer? It's spinning. Oh, it has to be while you're brushing your teeth. It doesn't count if it's not in your mouth. I can't spin a basketball on my finger. It's a skill that I would like to learn. This kid is deadpan right now. The crowd is like not like barely looking at him. They're so mildly interested in this. <laughs> I feel like this guy keeps pulling up to the function being like, fellas, check this out. We know we've seen the basketball tooth. Okay. All right. Do the thing. Fifty-three seconds. All right, great job, Sundeep Singh. Very impressive. Longest time to hold a peacock pose in yoga. What's peacock pose? That seems easy. That's not too bad. Whoa. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought the feet were staying on the ground. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I think my biceps are too big. I think that's what it is. It's like I, my biceps won't allow me to curl my arm in as much as I'd like. What's the other one that people do? Guy, by the way, this entire time has still been doing this. <laughs> the 
the entire time that I was attempting to do this one pose, he has been going. So, all right. I, I You know what? I kind of want to get into calisthenics. For whatever reason, there is an obsession, a, a gross obsession with calisthenics on TikToks. TikTok, excuse me. And uh, and it looks it looks sick every time I see it. I would love to be able to do things with my body in a physically impressive way. He's shaking. Yeah, dude, a three-minute plank and I'm out. Try doing a three-minute plank. Like, <laughs> I'd be shaking double. That guy's impressive. Most balls juggled by a single person. Thought I'd see Jay Schlatt. Holy shit. <laughs> this is the most juggling thing possible. Filming a world record in your backyard, tell someone you got the world record, and they hit you with a, oh, really? <laughs> cool. <laughs> juggling is so weird to me. It's too popular, I think. I think it's cool, but too many people can, like, casually juggle. And it's gotten to the point where it's like breaking out the guitar and singing Wonderwall at a party. Wait, is this more? That's most balls flashed. Oh, so you just throw it up once? Insane. Not sexual. <laughs> First ever 1260 on a skateboard. Pitcher die trying. I don't think he's going to stop until he puts this thing down. This could be it. Oh, a little low on the landing, but he's got it. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! Mitch, he just lands the. What is going on? Okay. Knights of Cologne. Wait, why didn't he care at all? How is this your face after doing that? That's like what you guys should look like right now watching my stream. <laughs> Just straight face mean mugging. Going on. Okay. Knights that is of it. Columbus. And he <laughs> he sketched off the What is gap, Knights of Columbus? And it just put him in a, a good speed position. I don't believe what I have seen. Look how focused he is right there. That is incredible. I don't Everyone else is more pumped than he is. <laughs> Look, I mean that's a lot of smoke. His head is already spinning on the take one spin there's a two five, spin there's a nine three spin and another spin four Looks spin a little bit low on the landing but just pulls half it. actually that landing was really good wasn't low at all mitchy <laughs> brusco goes where no person has gone before yeah Mitchie. a 1440 has happened has it fastest human calculator tt1 373 Three, eight, three, one, eight, three, seven, three, eight, eight, eight. Two, this two, is the question. Would you put the root over sign yeah. so that I know it's a root? Yeah. yeah. No, put a three there, please. Huh. The answer to this number. See Dude, I forget what the shape does. This is embarrassing. This so. So you take the one number and then you square root like three of it. Is it divided? Is it just divided? Cube root. So, like, what you have to pick three numbers that go into that number. So, one, so you third it. You third it. Or, no, it's multiplied. It's x times x times x. So, I have to figure out the multiplicative one. I tested out of math in college and haven't done math since I was 18. I'm a fucking stupid now. Because I'm an English major. If you could do division, you were good. 692. Yes, that's correct. Is that correct? correct? Yes, oh, thank that you. That is Thank wonderful. you very much. <laughs>
37 cents. For 37 cents. Yeah. Now, these numbers are a bit nasty. No, I, don't it, worry. It, right? Be nasty. Okay. Come on, be nasty. <laughs> Buys 83 for 23 cents. Yeah. Sells 131 for 37 cents. He makes a profit of $13.34. Yeah. And 34 cents. Yes. $13? And 34 cents. Right. <laughs> now, I'd like you to tell me how many items did he sell? It's a big number. Two, five, zero, zero, seven, nine. Correct? That's absolutely right. Thank That's you. Absolutely right. Right. What is that again? A 20 confidential. What day of the week was I uh, born if I was born on the 10th of March, 1940? Sunday. That's what my mother tells me anyway, <laughs> so I guess it's right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, 6543216, cube root of this number, multiplied by the fourth root of 389456, whole thing divided by... The cube root of 6,543,216 multiplied by the quadruple root of 389,456 divided by the square root of 945,696. Gut check, 24. By the square root of 4945646. Right. right. Six places of this. Okay, I only have it to two. I'll but give you six. Okay, mm -hmm. I can verify. Four point, correct? So eight, five. right? Right. Four point eight. Fuck. Four, five places more, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> that was just a okay. funny zero. Oh, right. <laughs> Good meme. <laughs> He was like, oh, I only have it to two digits. He's like, oh, no, I got eight. I got six for you. Zero, 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 zero. That's a great meme. Wonderful, wonderful. Zero. Okay, now, <coughs> the question is 2, 4, 5, 9, 3, 7, 2, 8. Multiplied by 3, 8, 7, 2, 2, 1, 3, 54 6. Now, tell me, trillion. Alex, you want me to give you the answer from this side to this side? On this side to this side. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't tell Dude, she's answer. flexing on these hoes. Go backwards. I think let Chandrasekhar decide. Chandrasekhar, do you want the answer from this side to this side or this side to this side? No, we'll keep the uh, unconventional method later on. Let's uh -huh. go the conventional route first. This way, you mean? Yeah, we have enough problem digesting the whole <laughs> multiplication. No, no, so. this way. Yeah. This way. Uh, why don't we do it differently? What about what about the panel? Would you prefer the other way? No, we, we should, should start from the left. From okay. this way. Yes. Left right. Right. Okay, I got right. the answer already. Okay. The answer is nine. Five. Do you think, wait, do you think she's stalling? Do you think she's like secretly stalling to get more time to do the mental math? <gasps> mm. or, I, but like part of me thinks she's goaded enough to just have known the answer. Two, three, two, one. Um, uh, six, eight, zero, three, six, Three zero zero eight. I don't know what that number is. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't believe if that was is it right. Correct? <laughs> it's exactly correct. Absolutely right correct. Yeah. Thank right you. On the I, I, geez, I I can't. I can't. What is that number? I can't. Hundred thousand million billion trillion. Oh, it's quadrillion. <laughs> Are you sure it's even one digit is not wrong there? It's mm -hmm. perfectly correct. So. I asked, when you prepared this, what was the procedures, you know, how, how many minutes did it take for you to figure this out, by the way? Uh, the it question. took me three minutes with the aid of a calculator. Three minutes with the aid of a calculator? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure Stan or uh, Liz would be able to tell us. I think you did it, you know, probably, you know, what about, the crew here can tell us. Was it about 30 seconds that she was able to do it? Uh, yes. Approximately 30. Incredible. Again, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. That, that is quite something. You know, I... 118 machines. 118 machines. Yes. yes. Can produce 73 items. Yes. Uh -huh. In seven and a half days. I see. Yeah, this is before free trade, by the right. way. Right. <laughs> Three quarters of an item. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many every items week? can 217 machines produce in 11 and three quarter days? 11 and three quarter days. Uh huh. I would I would guess. 200. 10. Ah, 210. That's right. right? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I was close. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Are, you, uh, are you impressed by I that? forgot to add the three-quarter day. Uh, that's insane. She's cracked. Longest 50-50 grind skateboard. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, wait. I thought it was Clint Stevens.
Clint Stevens and Tony Hawk. There's something magical about the sound of a skateboard grinding. That was sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Great reaction. Marshawn Lynch Beast Quake. What the fuck? Crowd silent now, as opposed to when the Saints have the ball. Oh, look at this run. What a run. Marshawn Lynch. Still oh. on his feet. Has blockers now. He's dancing his way for the touchdown. Oh. Dude, that's what made him a legend. Fourth quarter to seal the game. That's as good an effort as I've ever seen in my life from a running back who they traded for from Buffalo. Downhill, physical, and down the field, you're going to see Matt Hasselbeck and the whole office. <laughs> Sucks they had Matt Hasselbeck, though, huh? <laughs> You got that guy doing sick shit, then you got Matt Hasselback. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Uh, gotta have some L's in the world. Oh, wait. So the thing is, the crowd noise was so loud that it caused, like, a minor earthquake that showed up or something. It was, like, the loudest a crowd has ever been. Is that right? Crowd silent now, as opposed to when the Saints have the ball. Oh, look at this run. What a run. Marshawn Lynch. It was measured on the Richter scale. Oh, we saw this one already. Whoa, wow. Highest intentional free fall without a parachute. Okay, first person to unicycle around the world. What? Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Me dead Pratt who set a new record by riding a unicycle 22,000 miles around the world. Do you think at some point he was like, fuck, wish I had a bike? <laughs> like, certainly there's points where you just wish you could just be chilling and just holding on to the handles and just... Ed started a YouTube channel in 2014 to chronicle his efforts to circle the globe on a unicycle. Ed this is like one of the most impressive things old. someone has done. I wonder, does he have like a pop in YouTube? Why Guinness didn't give me a world record? What? This video is sponsored by Surfshark. <laughs> My name's Ed Pratt, and from March 2015 to July 2018, I pedaled a unicycle no. 22,000 miles around the world. Over that time, I crossed four continents, Europe, Asia, Australia, and North America, and performed over 12 million pedal rotations on my 40 kilogram fixed gear, 36 inch touring unicycle. When I finally returned home after three years on the road, I became the first person ever to officially ride a unicycle around the world. But actually, that last bit's not true. Let me explain. Okay, so to tell the story properly, we need to go back a year before I started the world ride. I was 18, attending sixth form college, and studying for my A-levels. A year before, I'd got into unicycling in quite a big way. Go ahead. I learned to ride on a tiny 16-inch unicycle. I soon upgraded to a 29er, and then finally bought myself a 36er. These unicycles have the largest commercially available wheels for pneumatic tires. I love calling them a 36er. You know you're in a unicycling when you're just calling them casual 36ers. Who has time to spend three years on a unicycle? Ed. A larger wheel means an effective higher gear, hence why these are the cycles of choice for distance riders. They go faster. I did mess around with some mm. off-road unicycling during this time too, with varying success. But my interest really lay in distance riding. 
In this final year of sixth form, Thank you, Zach. I started to consider exactly what I wanted to do after school was over. The obvious decision would have been to just go to university. It certainly would have been the sensible choice. Plus I'm going to say it. I think if you unicycle around the world, that is a probably more measurable, measurably beneficial thing for your life than going to university. It's probably overall more fulfilling, better experience and better learning than just going to university for three years, like three towns over. All my mates were going, but honestly, I really didn't think I could face another three years of studying. So I thought about what other options I had. It was during this time that I came across people that you could call modern day adventurers. People like Jamie McDonald, who ran across Canada alone and during the winter. Samuel Johnson, who unicycled 10,000 miles around the perimeter of Australia. And finally, Mark Beaumont, who back in 2008 had broken the record for the fastest person to ride a bicycle around the world and his The Man Who Cycled the World documentary that I watched in one sitting when I probably should have been focusing more on revising for my final exams. These stories of going out on huge human power trips What I'm trying to say really is drop out and get a unicycle. Of my own. So naturally, I googled to see if anyone had ever unicycled around the world. After some digging, I discovered that, yeah, in fact, one guy had done it back in the 70s. Wally Watts, or Wobbling Wally Watts, as the newspapers like to call him, rode a custom 43-inch unicycle 10,500 miles around the planet back in 1978. He started in New York City, flew to Scotland, and then pedaled east to Turkey. He unfortunately broke his arm near Ankara, so travelled by train to India, cycled through Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand, and then finally the States, where over two years later he arrived back in New York. His sounded like an absolutely incredible trip, but the ride was unfortunately never certified by Guinness World Records. Whether that was for lack of documentation or because it didn't meet certain requirements, I didn't know, but it meant the official unicycling around the world record was still available. So I decided to give it a crack. I can't. Okay, hold up, hold up. I want to hear why Guinness didn't give it to him. The gain from those three years on the road means so much more to me than any official piece of paper ever could. And the fact that I stayed true to my rule, even when it would have been far, far easier to ignore it, means I can rest easy and feel satisfied with what I've achieved. I unicycled around the world. It's not official. It never will be. I missed it. Either over the Christmas New Year period, Bangkok in Thailand, and Cupertino in the States, where I spent about a month editing videos and prepping for the USA crossing. Also, because I was no longer following Guinness's rules, I decided <laughs> not to hit the second antipodal point. Fuck, I missed it so much. Location and watched it. And finally, they're the only VPN to offer the use of one account on an unlimited number of How devices. How am I at a VPN commercial? Because and if you decide, actually, this isn't for me, crossing through Istanbul and into Asia, cranking out the miles and always going east. Oh, it's right here. Tailored my plans to follow. I'll summarize these rules now. Number one, start and finish points must be in the same location. Fair. So I'll be starting and finishing at School of Bags HQ, so there's no issue there. Number two, the journey should be continual and in one direction. Fine, I'll be going east. Uh, the minimum distance traveled by unicycle should be 18,000 miles, okay? And the distance traveled in total, including boats and planes between continents, that kind of stuff, should exceed the equator's length. Number Seems four, a lot. When crossing oceans or other impassable barriers, uh, the participant may only use public transports, okay? Number five, the participant must pass through two antipodal points during the attempt. So antipodal points, if you don't know, are points on the globe which are exactly opposite. Um, and I found out that an, ac uh, an accepted one is between Madrid and Auckland uh, in New Zealand. So I plan to use that one. And number six, a participant should not remain stationary for more than 14 days. And this is the one ultimately I had big issues with. And I'll explain that after this week's sponsor. Oh, that's sad. And then he chilled. Oh, he did it for it to hang out with family and shit. Going shit. East. They do have so many rules for, like, I guess it's just because there's probably a lot of people who submit for doing this with different, like, transports, scooter, biking, whatever. So they should probably just keep consistent along all categories of, of moving. He 
He stopped because Kazakhstan? But in Kazakhstan, things changed. Mm. It was winter, so the roads were very icy, and I ended up having an extremely close call with a car skidding towards me. These two cars just collided, and if that car wasn't there, I would have been hit. This event made me reevaluate the whole trip. The roads are dangerous, and I was almost hit, and that's scary. And while sitting in a nearby petrol station soon after it happened, I ultimately decided that pursuing a world record really wasn't worth my life. So I took a train out to Kyrgyzstan to wait out the winter. I ended up pausing the ride in Bishkek for six months, which is just a smidge longer than the 14 days Guinness stipulated. <laughs> six months? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I went on to take multiple breaks longer than two weeks during the trip. It'd be, it's like, it's, it sucks that you have to do it within two weeks because it'd be sick for the first time in your life to be in like Thailand or wherever and not be able to just like chill and experience the area, you know? Kunming in China over the Christmas New Year period, Bangkok in Thailand, and Cupertino in the States where I spent about a month editing videos. It's probably better overall to have experienced better things than to be like fucking under Guinness's watchful eye. Longest plank? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Where he just started. Oh, George Hood planked for first attempt was was disqualified. But I had an option just to let it go or go for it again. I suffer from a condition called complex regional pain syndrome. So anything like soft touch, movement, wind, water will cause me pain. So I remember at the 14 minute mark, my thighs started feeling my elbow and forearm being a hell of a rock. So I remember at the 14 minute mark, my thighs started to burn and I knew it was going to be in a hell of a ride. Putting constant pressure on my elbow and forearm as well as up to my shoulder did give me quite a bit of grief at the start. I have dealt with pain for so long, I knew how to manage it. The six hour came, the seven hour mark came, my body started to turn on me a little bit. I started to feel a bit of vibration and shaking and that's when I started to actually vomit on myself. Broke the 9 hour mark, broke my previous record of 9.09, and knew I had to go for 9 hours 30. One minute, one minute. Oh, God. I'd like to wow. pick up 64 seconds. Woo! Dude, that's insane. Dude, head to toe experience of constant pain. My feet were numb, my knees were burning, my thighs were burning, my left arm felt like it was on fire. Dude, that sucks that he has the thing that makes every single second of his life a living hell. But it, nine hours is absurd. The emotion of joy was surpassed anything. I want to see his abs. I've ever felt before. Joy and happiness knowing that I've achieved the goal, I've achieved my main objective of bringing awareness to CRPS and achieved getting the record for the plane. Thank you, everyone. He bore a hole into his arm just from standing in one spot. Holy shit. Longest, our first person to cross the English Channel four consecutive times. Okay, now we're getting crazy. Four times. Exhausted but elated. Sarah Thomas crawls onto dry land after her record-breaking swim. After just over 54 hours in the water, she's become the first person ever to cross the channel four times back to back. Why is she white? In, like, what is that? Salt? Oh, okay. And all only a year after she finished breast cancer treatment. I can't believe that just happened. He's done a lot of swimming over the pool. You're really good. The 37 year old from Colorado set off on the epic swim in the early hours of Sunday morning. 
At around the same time, Michelle Hardy from Chesterfield was beginning her own cross-channel attempt. I just thought it was just amazing and you just try to take comfort from other swimmers in the water and you want everybody who's in there with you to, you want everybody to succeed. What, the English Channel is what separates uh, England and France? How, how long? English Channel, uh, busy, busiest shipping area in the world, and it is 350 miles? Oh, but, but the, the thinnest width is 21 miles. Okay, that makes sense. The th that's how long it is, uh, but the width is 21 miles at the Straits of Dover. Which is likely what she did, but she did it four times. Sarah's swim started three days ago with. Why? If I why did I Google it? Four legs between England and France, but because of the changing tide, what should have been an 84-mile swim turned into 130 miles by the time she reached Dover at 6:30 this morning. My friend was in the water Wait. with me, kind of handing me things, and I told her, I said... Three days? I don't, I'm not going to make this. I don't have what it takes. And she just gave me a big grin, and she said, we'll get you sorted out. It's fine. Just turn around, and let's just swim to the daylight. And we did. And from the support boat, one official observer watched her smash his own 52-hour record for the longest cross-channel swim. We were calling to her, uh, are you going to turn for a fifth one? Um, she said... <laughs> Emphatically, no. <laughs> After her marathon swim, Sarah's enjoying a marathon sleep, dedicating her incredible achievement to other cancer survivors. Martha Fairley, ITV News, Dover. That's insane. Uh, highest standing vertical jump. Dude, that's going to be my kid one day. That's going to be my kid one day. Right before I force him to go on his dunking practice. That's my son. That's my son. That's what I'm talking about, Goose. That's my son right there. I want like a play-by-play. -play. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Dude, look at his explosive muscles. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy to be in this position and then stand up from that and not fall backwards. 67 inches. Fastest time to solve three Rubik's Cubes while juggling. Dude, what the fuck? What is... What? <laughs> We're too bored. <laughs> We're too bored as a society. What's going on, man? Whoa. It's not enough to solve a Rubik's Cube. It's not enough to juggle. To just get up. Oh, my God. That's that's crazy. That's, that's... Most of society cannot juggle and cannot solve a Rubik's Cube. The people who can both juggle and solve a Rubik's Cube is even lower. And then the people who can do both at the same time. Oh, this is a meme. This is a meme. It must have taken a while, right? I feel like I would only have the wherewithal to be able to do one cube at a time. Presuming I could juggle forever, I would need to only do one cube with like one hand. He's only getting one move off a juggle. He's almost done on that, the third one. 
I feel like he's doing it the way I think I would do it if I had this skill, which is one at a time, right? Oh, it's done. All right, so now you work on another one. Dude, this is, <laughs> this is insane. How do you know it's a third one? I'm just making it up in my head. When did he finish another one? This is like the music you play when aliens are invading Earth. <laughs> like, if this actually happened IRL, it'd sound like this. And then just silence. I'm s I mean, that's what it did sound like, IRL. Wouldn't sound just like that. It would sound... <laughs> okay, alright. I get what you mean. Alright, AO, chill. Chill, chat. Okay, fuck it. You can't clap anymore these days. Make a couple clapping noises all of a sudden. One more spin. One more spin. Goat. Goat. Two minutes and five minutes in two seconds. I think one Rubik's Cube would take me about five minutes. So we're the same. Me and him. We are equal. Final one. Most amount of cringe in one sitting. Amount of cringe in one sitting. All right, chat, let's play Pick'em. The streamer awards are happening this Saturday, and there's this uh, basically like fantasy fantasy bracket you can do where you can predict who will win, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do, so let's take a stab at it. Uh, the award show's in just under three days now. Uh. Best Battle Royale streamer. It's got to be Nick Merckx. I'm predicting who I think won, not who I want to win. So it's who, who you think won. I'm going with Nick. Nick Merckx is such a large community. Ace a god gamer, though. Yeah, but it's about providing the best content, not being the best at Battle Royale. I give it to my main man, Nick. I think he wins this. Best MMORPG streamer, Asmin wins this. Asmin win this guaranteed. Best roleplay streamer? I feel like Critical Role has to win because they're just so big. I can't imagine Rafflegator, Mur Murder Crumpet, or Seer overtaking Critical Role. They're just so big and everybody knows them, you know? They're the number one channel on Twitch. Best FPS streamer? This one's hard. Like, okay. From, like, if, if a casual is voting, they vote Shroud, right? Like, if someone's super casual, they vote Shroud. And I think if you're a little higher level, you vote 10s. But then, like, 
global five head is Tarek. And Tarek is the best choice. Because Tanz isn't as much of a streamer as he is a competitor. And this is best FPS streamer. But I feel like if it's casual gamer, they pick Shroud. Like a casual view, probably just like, they're like, oh, Shroud. Even though Shroud pretty much just plays Lost Ark only. <laughs> Which is not an FPS. Uh, best Smash streamer? Mango wins, I think guaranteed. Best chess streamer? I don't know if Hikaru wins... Over Botez. I feel like Botez wins this. I don't know. I don't think Levy wins. I think it's either Hikaru or Botez. But I think 2021, Botez beats out Hikaru. Like, Hikaru 2020, not close. 2021, Botez. Dude, their IRL YouTube videos have more views than anything I've ever posted. I think it's Botez. Best strategy gamer? Ugh. I don't know. I I am. Mm, I don't think Northern Lion wins. I feel like Toast has to win this, right? I think people say Box Box. I don't think Box Box is. Because this is like kind of a popularity contest, right? And I don't think Box Box is a large enough creator to beat out Toast and Northern Lion. Because, because, because mm. like Toast, Scara, Box Box all kind of have always played the same games. Like, didn't they all play Hearthstone and all play TFT? So I feel like, I feel like they cannibalize each other's votes and Northern Lion stands alone with his votes so it's either the largest of this group of three with an overlapping audience or Northern Lion Island who wins but Northern Lion isn't as well known I think Northern Lion didn't tell anybody he was nominated I think I got toast. And you know why? Ooh, actually, this is hard. Anyway, I think I vote toast because people who just clicked on this form to vote for Saikuno or to vote for Lily or to vote for Pokey would probably just look at this and they don't care about these games, but just vote for toast no matter what. You know what I mean? Best speedrunner? I don't know. I, I imagine it's Small Ant, right? The thing is, Atrioc made a YouTube video about this contest. He made a video. Like, he released a video and brought it up on stream, like, a few times. Because I watch Big A usually when I'm when I'm off. So, like, he pushed hard for it. But Small Ant's just bigger, right? Big. I don't think Simply wins it. I think it's Small... Atrog made two videos about it. He made a nominated... Wait, really? This is who you think wins it, by the way. We're not voting here. We're, this is our prediction for who wins it. Small Ant's just a bigger creator, though. He's, like, literally double the size of Atrioc on Twitch in, like, 10x on YouTube. Small Ant put it in his videos. Did he? Wait, did Small Ant put it in his videos? If Small Ant put it in his videos, it's GG. He made a community post. Ah, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG. Best ASMR streamer? Amaranth. This is like the... I think this is probably going to be the most lopsided category. I imagine this was a 99% ammo vote. Best VTuber? I imagine it's Iron Mouse. She's just popped off so much recently. Best music streamer? 
this one's hard. Cause that's that's T motherfucking pain. That's T pain, dude. But I think Lily wins. Because there's no way T-Pain ever told anyone to vote for him ever, I feel like. I Like, T-Pain has a Grammy, right? He probably has, like, a few. Not that Lily necessarily did, but more so that just OTV would be voting in this, or an OTV fans, excuse me, and they'd probably vote for Lily. He has two Grammys. For Blame It. Blame It on the ah, uh, 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 OTV fans. Best IRL streamer? I don't know who would win this. Because Rob is a... a, a the small... Um, I think... Um, I don't think Jake will win. Because Jake hasn't done many IRL streams this year, guys. Most of the year he spent... in. He's known... I think he's the most recognizable IRL streamer. But it wasn't a very big IRL streaming year for him. Hachubby, on the other hand, had a pretty big one. So I think it's Hachubby or Rob. But I think... Hachubby is a larger creator than Rob, and Hachubby will win because of that. I feel like Tyler won and is not close. I think this one is probably another out... Like, this is another tough one, I think. This is probably like... Like, Tyler just has such a stranglehold. Okay, this is the question. Did Dream SMP fans pool all their votes equally... Across Tommy Rambu Tubbo. Thus meaning that everybody who is LSF or or hates normies or hates uh, uh, Minecraft who voted for Forsen, did they win? Or did they accurately push for one person to win this category? Because I think the answer is Tommy. But if they cannibalize themselves as a fan base and split the votes with Rambu and Tubbo, you know what? I think it's Tommy, and here's why. Because Rambu vehemently hates being called a Minecraft creator, even though he is a Minecraft creator, and is trying to pivot hard into variety. And so I think his audience, in respect for that, his audience are the people who know that, you know what I mean? Like, average random person is like, oh, Rambu Minecraft. But Rambu's audience would be like, no, Rambu's variety. You don't even know, dude. He plays horror games and he also likes to react to videos. You don't even fucking know Rambu. He also cooks on stream, you fucking idiot. But Tommy doesn't care about that distinction. So I feel like Tommy would get win here. That's my take. Best Valorant streamer. Pokey specifically said to not vote for her. But here's the thing. I still feel like people voted for her. <laughs> I feel like her saying don't vote for me is just like, oh, don't vote for you and what? Uh-oh. And then they click it and then they leave. You know what I mean? She said that? Yeah, she said that. Wait, somebody just said in chat, she said that? Oops. I feel like Pokey won, even though she doesn't want to. I don't think Timmy wins this because Timmy's not so known for Valorant. Timmy being in Valorant, I think, is probably the like the mo like the biggest outlier. Like, I think you if you swapped Timmy in Valorant and Tarek in FPS streamer, that would make a lot of sense because Timmy probably belongs in this category and Tarek probably belongs in this category. They pr probably both have better chances in those categories, but whatever the nominations are, what the nominations are. There were chat uh, voted nominations. I feel like Pokey wins this. There's also a chance Puns wins this because Puns is a huge streamer. Plays a shit ton of Valorant, but still has all the clout of being a Minecrafter. You know what I mean? I feel like if not Pokey Puns. Manifesting a Jody win. I'm with you. I don't think. I think it's. I think it's. I think it could be puns. Ah! Uh, do I go with the Pokey Gambit boys? 
What channel can we watch the award show Saturday? It's on Cutie's channel. Jody's OTV. I know. And so, like, there's a bunch of casual OTV fans who probably didn't look and see Pokey, didn't want people to vote for her, and they split the votes, and I feel like Pokey might have gotten more. But maybe if they split the votes, then puns would win. I'm going to go puns. I'm going puns. I don't care. I'm going puns. Best GTA RP streamer. Ooh. I feel like it has to be Saikuno. X? Really? The thing is, Saikuno's fan base is so much more interested in him succeeding and involved with his content creation. Guys, Saikuno trends for playing GTA RP on, on Twitter. XQC has never done that, right? Like, XQC does not trend on Twitter. Ever. You know, it's not like it's not like XQC is playing GTRP and everyone's like, oh my god, XQC did a, such a good on the daily Saikuno trends on Twitter. His character, you know, is like its own like story. And people are so into it, they live tweet it every day. X trends on YouTube. I mean, I do too. Trending on YouTube means nothing, though. I feel like it has to be Saikuno. Because also, X doesn't even, like, like, uh, here's the thing, XQC doesn't, his fans do what they tell him to, you know what I mean? He has, like, an army that he can point and they will go, but I don't think he pointed and he was like, guys, vote for me, I really want to win, you know what I mean? I feel like what he did was probably he pulled this up on stream for content. He went, best GTRP streamer, uh, uh, well, pff, gotta be me, chat. Uh, fucking philanthropist. Uh, I don't know, dude. And you know what I mean? Whereas Saikuno's viewer base does their own thing. I feel like Saikuno goes around and he goes, shmi shmop, shmi shmop, shmi shmop. But all of his friends, or excuse me, all of his fans, like vote for him anyway. X voted for Buddha. Exactly. Okay. Maybe Buddha wins then, actually. You know what? Maybe Buddha wins. If X said to vote for Buddha, then I think Buddha could win. Because Saikuno, I know, probably did not push a vote for himself because he's just not that type of guy. I mean, he probably was told on stream, like, he probably read a message that was like, Oh, I was nominated for an award? Oh, oh I, don't, I don't really care for awards. I really just like doing this as a hobby, guys. So, you know, that's pretty cool that, that this little hobby of mine got, got that much recognition. That's, that's pretty cool, guys. Anyway, let's play GTA RP for the next 18 hours of my fucking life without any other content in between it. Fucking, hey, hey, Ludwig now. But the thing is, even though he says that, then all of his audience still go to vote for him. So I don't know. I'm going to go Saikuno. I don't, I don't, I'm going to, I I feel like this is an easy Jacksepticeye. But there's a chance that Rambu wins it because his community loves him so much. If Rambuians voted for him. But I think Jack wins this easy. Stream game of the year. GTA 5. Minecraft fell off this year. Valorant popped off, but it's still contentious. Apex, no way. That's last place. GTA 5 RP being bigger than ever after two years is crazy. Who will accept this award? John Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Best variety streamer? This one's hard. I, th I think Charlie wins this, but there's a chance that like Ray wins too. I don't think it'll be me because I specifically told everybody to vote for Charlie. I voted for you. I could win, but I told people to vote for Charlie. And everybody loves Charlie. He's just like one of those guys, you know? He's like Clint. People just like Charlie. So I I I I I I don't think I don't think I because I told people to vote for Charlie and people would normally vote for Charlie themselves, I don't think I would win because that's like two to one. You know what I mean? 
But but Valkyrie and Toast, I think, are close enough together that maybe they can cannibalize some of the votes. And I think Charlie wins. Best just chatting streamer. You underrate how much OTV likes you? No, I think OTV fans like me a lot. Every time I'm in the videos, people usually like it. But but they also like they if if Ray's live, they'll watch Ray. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I like lobster, but if there's a fucking filet mignon right there, you're going to eat it. You know what I mean? It's okay if you like lobster, but sometimes better better food is there. Sorry for calling Ray a piece of... Uh, okay, we'll move on. Best just chatting streamers? I think Mizkif, dude. Mizkif had, like... Hassan, dude, if this... I, I swear to God, if the voting was one week later, Hassan would have war profiteered into a victory. But I think Mizkif's end of the year was so good that he wins this. Someone said Hassan's too political. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, I I think I think it's Mizzy, dude. I think it's Mizzy. I think Miz wins this. Because I also feel like Mizzy would pull this on stream and like he would make jokes about being best just chatting streamers. But Hassan would pull it up on stream and he'd be like way too cool for school. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, this is a popularity contest. And if you are too cool for school, then eventually you become too cool. And then you don't win. And then you, But you can hide behind the sheen of, oh, I don't even care. It's an award show. Whatever, man. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter to me. Wabi could be a secret winner here. That's the secret thing that nobody knows. I think Wabi... If he does win, or if he doesn't win, I think he's second place overall. Because Wubby is so good at activating his audience. No, he's, dude, he's so good at activating his audience. You don't even know. He has such an engaged audience. It's like, it's kind of like us. I think I have a weirdly engaged audience. My sub count was always higher than my view count, which usually just means that people that just, I don't know, they fuck with you, but they're like, they're not even watching you. Like, it's, 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 it's crazy. And so he has a similar thing. Even though we're not friends, yeah. But I think I think Miz won. Best streamed event. Oh, this is so hard. I selfishly want Germa Dollhouse to win because I I like fucking love that event. But I think Balloon World Cup could win. But you know what? This is an NA audience, and I don't think Balloon World Cup would win. Because everyone, this is what everyone who 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 points to Balloon World Cup as the best event didn't fucking watch more than five minutes of it because they didn't understand a word because they were English speakers. And I think that's all who voted for this. So I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Dollhouse. NA votes for Dollhouse. Maybe ShitCon actually though. Dollhouse was just so sick, dude. It was so unique. Best content organization? I feel like it has to be OTK here. Like, OTK... Here's the thing about orgs. I think the bar is on the fucking floor. And OTK knocked it out of the park. Because they signed so many big creators. And I think... I think they're the most watched team on Twitch right now. They're the most watched team. It helps that Asmin Gold came back and new MMOs came out and he had hundreds of thousands of viewers, but. I don't even know one NRG streamer. I, I do. Wait, no, I don't. I was going to say Daft, but she's Sentinels. So I don't. I don't know one. <laughs> Yeah, they also got... They have Schlatt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like it's OTK here. And and the reason I don't think it's OTV is because I don't think OTV's 2019 was much different than their 2020 than was much different than their 2021. You know what I mean? They didn't do anything remarkably different. But OTK 
Like, were, did they start in 2021 or did they just really pop off? I think they just popped off in 2021. So it's so new that you, I think you vote for it. You know what I mean? There's also a chance 100 Thieves wins. OTV got three new members and canceled two of them. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Rising Star Award. Dude. It's, it's gotta be my guy. It's gotta be Staniel, right? I don't know, actually. The thing is, it's like, okay, I, I rooted for Stan super hard. And Stan obviously has his own following as well. And he wanted this badly. But but Frogan has Hassan's following, right? And, and Zoyle has, like, like OTK's following. So it's like, we're all fighting these proxy wars. <laughs> like like the, the Americans and the Russians. And, and it's like, like uh, which creator pushed harder? And I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know if my audience beats out. Like, here's the thing. I know for sure that I tried harder than Hassan. Straight up. So I, I think Frogan probably doesn't win. Because I, like, I, I, I pulled this up a few times on stream. And I think I, ma I made a video on Mogul Mail about it. But Zoyal? Zoyal could win. Purple Cliff, I think, is fucked. No offense. He's doing great. Love Purple Cliff. Fan of the stream. I'm a fan of him. Great. I think he's fucked. Because <laughs> Purple Cliff's biggest following is YouTube and TikTok, which are both websites that where people don't like leaving. People love staying on YouTube and consuming more and more videos and... TikTok, we all know the answer to that. So if you went on TikTok and you're like, vote for me, they'd be like, okay, eat shit, and then stay on their fucking website. You know what I mean? Like Twitch, you can get people or, or to go somewhere instantly. I think Stans wins. League of Their Own, I think is between Jerma and Ebai. But if there is, like, a wish that I could get from a shooting star, I would wish Jerma wins. But I feel like in my bones, Ebai wins. Ebai is very well known in NA, even though an NA crowd voted. Ebai also pulled it up on stream. Anyone but Jerma's a scam? I, well, no. I would first say that everybody in this category is a god of content creation and deserves this award in their own right. I think what Ebai does is nuts. Ebai does productions on such an impressive schedule at such a consistent rate. It's like one day he has a fucking sold out stadium with a new esports team and famous soccer player. And then the next week he's like, oh, we just remade Master Chef. And then the next week he's like, oh, so I decided to get Messi to throw himself live. Like at such a fast rate. I'm like, how the fuck are you doing that? And Jerma's like, Jerma's like, like he goes up to a cave and the cave is just streaming normally but you know he streams for like like two days a week three days a week for like six months and then randomly he goes live one day and he's like oh hey i uh i got the entire white house and i i remade it in my backyard i'm the president now i'm president germa ah and, and but you thought you were gonna watch mario odyssey so it's like like those are both sick but I think the rate Ebai did it at, I feel like makes him win this. I don't know, though. I don't fucking know, though. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I want German to... I, I, think, I, I think Ebai went... Uh, I don't even want to click his name because I don't want to manifest it. But I think Ebai wins. This is not, by, this is not a vote, by the way. This is a prediction on who you think will win. 
not a vote for who you it's different legacy award soda poppin i think pokey would win though but she said not to vote for her but i don't know if people listened but i think soda poppin I watched Shota for like two hours a day. He's playing Super Auto Pets. He was charmingly bad. With impressive spurts. Gamer of the year. I feel like people... Oh, shit. I feel like Tens has to win this, dude. He, he's like synonymous with amazing gamer Sh but like big shroud big shroud empire might be too too big to fail you know what i mean purple cliff in chat hey don't count me out yet lud purple cliff hey come on come on what me no i i gotta go tens i think tens wins but maybe it is an impenetrable for uh, tr impenetrable fortress streamer of the year Dude, I don't... I. Okay, so this is who I think will win it. I, I feel like XQC is going to win this. This is not voting. This is just who you think will win. You know what? Actually, fuck it, dude. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. German 985 Ludwig. It's called Manifesting. It's called manifesting. You changed streaming? I mean, I took a lot of money out of viewers' pockets and put into streamers' pockets. So, yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, a couple changes here and there. Vote Big A2. Ah, well, you know. I also want to win my fantasy bracket. <laughs> uh, max concurrent viewers. I think I think this I uh, this is such a this is I first of all, I think this is um Okay, hopefully Cutie doesn't hear this. I think this is poorly formatted to be honest. Like the like the numbers are don't add up at all, you know? Like it should be even intervals. It's a no-brainer to vote for 50 to 150K because it covers such a large portion in comparison to the first two options. And then obviously this goes 150K to infinity, but realistically, 150K is such a hard number to hit. Like, I, 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 would, I would assume this is just like the easiest answer of all time. Uh, smooth production. Will the streamer or rewards run smoothly? The stream connection will not fail. Audio and video quality are good. This is so subjective. Here's the thing. Every single event ever never runs with no issues. Never. E every single event has hiccups. But usually, you can just pave over the hiccups well enough that nobody notices. So if it's from the eye of the viewer, it will essentially have no issues, usually. But every event has a few minor hiccups. I don't think there will be a lot of issues, though. How many sponsors will it have? I think I have secret insider info. Because I've helped get one sponsor. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no, I think it's 5 to 15, guys. Will the red carpet event of the streamer awards start at the scheduled time? 5 p.m. Pacific. No, nothing ever starts on time. I think it'll, uh, you know, maybe it will.
the thing is, this is an event that relies on hundreds of streamers showing up to a place on time. They're fucking streamers. It's gonna be a ghost town when this is supposed to start. How many times will people at the show ask you to use your free Twitch Prime subscription? I don't think a lot. Unless Cutie specifically does it, but then she just controls this. Like, I don't think Saikuno wins an award and is like, Hey guys, use your Twitch Prime. Unless it keeps... So, the, the answer is either less than 5 or, or over 10. Because it becomes a meme and it takes over. But I would assume less than 5 times. Will there be any controversial or unexpected moments when presenting any of the awards? For example, the winner is nowhere to be found and someone pulls a I'ma let you finish. The winner's acceptance needs to be cut short. Yeah, something will fuck up for sure, right? Streamers, they're so unprepared. Especially if, like, Mizkif or Soda Poppin are on stage at any moment at any time. Enter the number of maximum concurrent viewers that you think the streamer awards will get if multiple pick -em participants are tied for a prize. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, I think it'll hit 107,652. Easy. Uh, all right, that was so specific. Well, I wanted to win the tiebreaker. I didn't want to put it around number because then people would copy me. When is the event? 5 p.m. I think it said on the thing. Um, Pacific. Um, five. Uh, shit. 5 p.m. Pacific and Saturday. 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 Oof. I have to pee again. Hold up, chat. Quick. Quick. Atrioc break. No, I found out that it's essentially just a regular fan, but worse designed. There is blades in the fan. They're just hidden. And then it pushes it all out through a fucking circle. So it's just it's just worse. It's just a worse regular fan and three hundred dollars. It was ugh. It was so stupidly expensive. Holy Christ! Wait, I'm getting owned? I guess I don't have to fight every single possible enemy that I see. Most importantly, I should probably fight this guy. Who's really fucking... Oh shit! Hello, blood buds. Um, hello. Ow! Oh, my dead? Wait! Dude, oh my god! Wait! What the fuck? <laughs> It's not of the living dead! It's not of the living dead! Ugh. Good old Big A. Oh, he's actually exploring the game. He's a gamer. Uh, chat, I wanted to watch a video. But I don't know if I do it today. What the fuck is in my recommended? Lily tries to cover Aria Zbuba. 1.2 million views. What the fuck? I clicked that. Shameless. You guys are fucking shameless. Uh, I kind of want to watch it. 
it's an hour though. And I don't know if I want to end at 1130 is where I'm at in my head. So maybe I watch it another day and I do like 30 minutes of super auto pets today is where my head's at. Cause I everything else just ran a bit late, and I don't know if I want to do it for an hour. That's it. That's the only reason I wouldn't do it today. Cause I I, I gotta I gotta wake up early. I've been going to bed too late. I, I think SAP is the call because then we can upload something to the VOD channel because I, I haven't uploaded SAP in a minute. We did SAP yesterday. That's false, I think. we Didn't we not do SAP yesterday very specifically and people were kind of upset? So let's do SAP today. Let's do SAP and let's get a chick win. <laughs> 